What are you doing, dude? Get out of there. You're gonna get in trouble. No, Aiden. Get out of there. You're gonna get in trouble, dude. Fuck. Oh. That guy was kind of a dick. I don't know. When I worked at Coffee Bean, there was this lady who would come in twice a day, once at 5 a.m. and once at 1 p.m., and she would get uh, the Moroccan mint tea. Uh, but it had, basically it's like a, like a tea that has scoops of chocolate powder added to it and milk, and she would get a 32-ounce twice a day every day for six years. And we did the calculation once for, like, how much she's ingesting every day. It's fucked up. The, the calculator just literally said diabetes. And then, yeah, and then and one day she just stopped coming in, and I was like, <laughs> did, she, did she fucking die? Probably. She went to the doctor, and they're like, you're diabetic. She's like, what? She's like, that's crazy. How? All I drink is tea. <laughs> Tea's good for you. So, uh, you know where you should go to the doctor? If you're going to the yard, and welcome back to the yard, yardigans. Wow, that's our intro? We didn't clap. Sound speed? Oh, my clap was so money. That was loud, dude. That yeah. penetrated me. Do you Welcome guys back like to the, the yard. thing I made Hey, up? do you guys want an update? You guys like the thing This is I what I up? look like now after my diet. Okay, tummy time. Ba -ba. You're looking solid. You're 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 blowing it out. <laughs> you look kind of like you're a, intentionally. You look kind of like a, like a Goomba. Right this you shouldn't be showing this. And if for it's the like some for, sort for of the progress. audio viewers, he looks kind of like a Goomba. How much have you lost? I stayed. I lost immediately in the first like ten days, like five, six, seven pounds. I, I'm like was one ninety three. Well, five, six, or seven pounds. Well, because I weigh it's ten 16, days. Sixteen, eighteen you, million. You know your weight fluctuates by like two pounds in a day. Yeah, yeah, but it's like where are you? I don't know. So I'm saying like I was at I was at two hundred one at my peak. So from my peak, I was down eight pounds. Has it been hard? For my average, I was down like five or six. Are you struggling? What sucks is going out to eat. That sucks. Oh, and you got to, like, be annoying. Because you can't choose anything good? No, because, like, there, you can't try. Like, we went to this fancy restaurant the other day, and uh, and they had, like, meat they cooked in front of you in front of you and stuff. And it, I asked the guy. He came up with a waggy. I was like, you know how many ounces that was? You know, not even how many calories. And <laughs> you he's want like, the weight to put into your free MyFitnessPal. You, he you looks going like, out to bougie restaurants yeah. and then putting it into MyFitnessPal. No, yeah, fuck them. insane. Because they, they should know. If you're going to charge that much for beef, you should know how much it weighs to the gram. He didn't know, and he looked at me, and he sounded like me because he's like, no shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I, was like, I was like, that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> uh, but that, that's been the hardest part. The actual food day-to-day -day is, is pretty fine. I think you're a kind of person when you set your mind to something, even if it's not eating Shuggy Chucky Milky Man. Mm -hmm. and I think you can do it. Uh, and you, yeah. You know where you could post progress for your weight loss? Uh -huh. It's on our Patreon. Uh, which we have, uh, if everyone just That's a right. picture of my no, gut nude, every day. Nude progress pictures, yeah. guaranteed okay. and promised by Ludwig. This, this is, is the, a, this is your contribution. This is yeah. the funniest part about being on a diet is I have twice now while I'm showering been inspired to weigh myself because you weigh the least naked. Yes, clothes can be up to two pounds. They That's can be right. decently heavy. So I've been running downstairs. Naked where the scale is. Oh, you in the public area. You were in the Doritos Locos Tacos gaming center. <laughs> no way. Facing away from no me. No way. And I ran by cupping my balls to the scale. Really? Really? When this was really that? happened? This is like for, two, three days ago. For people listening, like this is a pretty large distance in the house. Like he has to go down <laughs> a set of stairs and cross two rooms to get to this. Also, scale. like the front door and like the front window, the front which is window. not obscure. Yeah, at the all. front window. There could easily. There's. I have no no knowledge of an Uber Eats driver. I've been pulling up. Right. Just been like that's a lot of cheese. Dude, Wait. it's gonna be the package guy. It's the, the, the we have like five package guys come a day. I don't and, care. And he's gonna walk up and just gonna load of your ass that's not my fault if they peep through my he, he window goes, he goes hey who's, who's the real package guy between you and me huh let me ask you a question when <laughs> you are standing on the scale and uh -huh. but there's nobody around because right. we've weighed each other we've no sorry we haven't weighed each other we've weighed ourselves <laughs> in front of each other ass naked before that's true and when you do that as a common courtesy you you cup all that you are able to of your balls dick penis butthole uh -huh. balls penis balls right. Understood. Into your hands. You're cupping your right. butthole. Right, right. Butthole, and so, not, you and just kind of lump that When you are, say, when you did this, you leapt across the, like, the, the, the house like a cartoon. Yeah, I scampered like, like, <laughs> And know. I heard, like, a flute behind me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like Charlie Chaplin, comically. <laughs> like the Fred Flintstone, like, yeah. And then you stood on the scale. Uh -huh. Did you do the same thing where you cup your, your junk and nuts? <laughs> 
As opposed to like, I spin my dick around a helicopter. <laughs> well, give me some lift. More like hands out your side and just like observing the number that pops. Uh, up. I think I'm like I'm running, holding it, so I just keep them there. So it doesn't flop around, and I, I don't. Hear, no, I don't hear this as you jump. No, there's <laughs> that's you there's no running. difference to weighing if your if your hands are high or down did low. You sh- did you check before or after your shower? Before. Okay. Because th- don't you think like soaking your skin would make you heavier? I well, it would also just be terrible to like be wet in the Dude, bathroom. If you slipped and ate shit, <laughs> yeah, naked. Are you, behind have you guys ever fallen in the shower? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh that shit sucks. That shit sucks. Yeah. My coordination is insane. <laughs> well, no, you have you have a seat in there. <laughs> Dude, uh, my, my old roommate in college, he used to uh, he used to take really fucking long showers. When I was like, "Dude, what are you, are you jerking off in there? Like, it's too long. I need to take showers too." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Sorry, I, what I do is I I, <laughs> I go in there and then I sit on the on the floor of the shower of the bathtub." And the water drenches over me, and I pretend I'm a ninja on a rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> like under a waterfall? Yeah. That and guy I, was exactly me until the last part. And I'm like, every time? He's like, yeah, every time. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I handled hangovers. I just sit the ninja like, curled method. up on the, on the floor. I, well, I sit, was, I sit every time I shower. Graceful. I used to. I don't anymore. I've discovered putting on YouTube videos in the shower. You uh, motherfucker! You, just recently? you were watching YouTube videos, eating a fruit cup minutes before Zipper told us we were hot. Yeah, and then you guys stepped on my Yardigans idea that I invented. I actually, no, I liked this idea. You said we should call ourselves the Yardigans, yeah. and I kind of I thought that was cute. I invented that, and then he named a character from it, which I thought was weird and cringe because yeah. we don't know the characters, dude. I was just on the cusp yeah, Aiden, of Aiden was like, "Can I be Pablo?" And yeah, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? We were like, are "Holy, you Pablo's about? the coolest." <laughs> I mean, sure. Okay, uh, is he the tanky winky of the group? Like. Contextualize this for me. Yeah, that's Pablo a good point. is the Chad Penguin who's in every episode. Okay. Oh my so, god. Dude, dude. Okay, you call that a Chad? He's wearing a bow tie. It, and he's he's the shortest yeah. one. By in the, the way. show, yeah, he's, he's a Chad. In the show, he's, he's a Chad. Not a Chad. Yeah. Insane. Is he a millionaire? Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's you? Yeah. That's, wait, that wait. is clearly can, slime. Can you name them all real quick? No, I can't. I can name only the Pablo the Penguin, the and... strange ice cream being. The rabbit dog. <laughs> okay. This, <laughs> this is a symbiotic I only remember moment. Uniqua in the middle. Uniqua is popular. But, oh. okay, ab- amongst us three, who is Aiden? Let's just say it on three. One, One two, two, three. The rabbit. Morse. Re- we all Wait, thought you all it said something different. Wait, said no, fourth. you said fourth. He's also insane. not a rabbit. Uh, he's a kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo what, makes what sense. I thought he was style. the big, tall, dumb moose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, He's, Probably struggles to go through doors with his horn. He's it, like, sorry. If the moose was more... <laughs> <laughs> do I do that? Just a fucking loser. No, that's the thing. He wouldn't apologize, though. He'd step through it. He'd break a chunk out of the wall and be like, oh, he'd be like, oh, I'd be like, oh why was the door Who there? The wall there. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired of the wall. I have antlers. You guys joke, but I have hit my head on the ceiling down the stairs in this house more than once. Yeah. It's, there's, a, it's, there's a spot. It's terrible. I, let's circle back. Uh-huh. You learned how to watch YouTube in the. Oh, gut. we got some names okay, here. Okay, wait. Pablo, Tasha, Tyrone, yeah, uh, Austin, and Uniqua, which is where yeah, I buy up? shirts sometimes. My, my daughter's name is Uniqua. That's hype. Um, I'm Tasha. You you are not Tasha. Wait, why are you Tasha? I'm hot. No, you are Pablo. <laughs> you are Pablo. <laughs> wait, what? You're Pablo. Austin. He, dude, how can you have a bow tie and a spinning propeller hat? Wait, there's someone missing. From the last image in this, oh no, no, it's not. No, yeah, there is. I think. Who, Nick, who are you? I guess I'm Tyrone. Am he's I got, Uniqua? Yeah. He's got drip. He wears the same sweaters you do. Uh, <laughs> who are we, you? Well, there's no comparison. I'm Uniqua, dude. You? This is no. like when every friend group tries to say, "All right, who are we all in Friends?" Yeah, right. I'm Joey. Yeah, that's. It, this is like that. Yeah, I, it, nothing's one to one. You are no one in Friends. Well, no, I'm. Everybody me? in that show no, is you're, miserable, you're and I Gunther. don't want to be any of them. You're Gunther. <laughs> Who's Gunther? The, the guy who works at the, the coffee, coffee shop, maker, yeah. and he's in love with Rachel. Oh. No shot. That's you. Yeah. You're not in love I'd be with over Rachel. Rachel in a week. And Rachel, <laughs> Rachel's actually hitting Platt and Valorant. <laughs> oh, come on. Excuse me. No, Aiden's a Ross. <laughs> and then Ross is like Nick's third backup account that already hit Platt. <laughs> 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 yeah. Speaking of gaming, uh, Eamon gaming. stopped yeah. gaming. Yeah. He, Why is this news? This is oh, crazy no. to me. Th- yeah, this so this is very um so I, I feel like you're someone who picks up and drops things very quickly. I played Valorant for 
a year. Well, no, I thought <laughs> I thought you loved gaming. I thought that was your one consistent. It's and then in your name. You got rid of your gaming setup in your workstation. You you made it a MacBook, which is like kryptonite for gaming. But I think didn't you just move it to your room? No, it's in yeah, his room. It's set up in my. Room. I know. I know it's it in his room, but he doesn't like. What he used to do is he would work for like an hour, and then he'd like shmay, and then he'd play melee for like fifteen minutes, and then he'd work, and then he'd be like rand, and then he'd like rant, and then he'd go back to. He would like keep switching. Why aren't you playing? And video now he can't do Aiden. that. I, I like the idea of us being like the opposite of your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, why aren't you playing more video games? We are the opposite of the Chinese government. Yeah, <laughs> you are not gaming enough, sir. It's a problem for society. <laughs> my social credit score in this house going it's plummeting yeah, because it's plummeting. of my gaming. You habits. need to game more. I just play Melee right now. Yeah. But That's even if you do, disgusting. you can't play on your... You have to go upstairs to play a Slippy. That's fine. Mm. <laughs> there is a game drought, I will say. There's nothing... Even on Twitch. ...motivating to, to play at the moment. Do you feel like you've lost yourself as a human? Because <laughs> you can't what game? Do you, I don't... What? I just have a piece of yourself fractured and gone forever. It's a simple question. A little bit. Uh, nice. Lately, <laughs> See, I told you, I wow. get it. Bro. Why are you yeah. bringing this out of him now? Yeah, this is a weird place. <laughs> We're getting this. real. Uh, <laughs> holy shit! Well, look, I will, I will tag on that you're not whole anymore. Aiden, <laughs> Jesus, Aiden, uh, he loves traveling <laughs> and has planned like three trips in the next two. You're months. going to Sweden tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to Sweden tomorrow. Let me play video games there. Uh, At Re 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 Reykjavik. That's, that's so that's racist. That's in Iceland. How's that racist? To us. That's in Swedes. To the Nordics. You hate Sweden. You hate Sweden. I'm Swedish. You know. Yeah, but don't align now. You know how much shit you got when you said, I hate Sweden? The First of all, I didn't say I hate Sweden. I said I would never want to live in Sweden. No, roll you said you tape. hate Sweden. No, don't, doesn't mean roll the tape, Zipper. I want Archie to Was put this it the back high in, episode? in a background. Like Ar in Archie, a flashback. Archie's out this week. He can't edit this one. Different I want editor. someone to put it in a flashback part. Because I said I would never live in the shithole that is known as Sweden. That's true. You <laughs> Was this the high episode? No, uh, I it mean, was where you would. I don't know. Live. I don't remember honestly. I think no, this was the, the high episode, episode before. No, that, it was before that for sure. It was before that, because it was before. He's doing I think it. the Patreon. I love when Ludwig says something confidently. Because <laughs> <and laughs> I took black tar before the high episode. I was gonna <laughs> say. Oh, I, didn't yeah. tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know. If you're taking black. Why would you tar? double? Why would you just like? Yeah, I took black tar during another one. Yeah, without telling you guys. You know, I was. Uh, I I like being you're Swedish. Relaxed. I would not want to live in Sweden. Okay, what do you like about being Swedish? Yeah, in your daily life, how does that contribute at all? Like even a little. Because you are so much more French than you are Swedish. You like. And you're barely. French. You talk about your French family. You speak to your mom in French sometimes. You say en poisson. Yeah, en poisson. Ve en poisson. En yeah. poisson. <laughs> en de. In fish. Toi. Um, <laughs> Come on, what's that? Yeah. I, I, well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I like I like my, my Swedish heritage. I just have been to Sweden a lot, and I don't... Why do you like your Swedish heritage? What does it mean to you? It means... I don't... What do you want from me? You I want an fake actual Italian? answer. Because <laughs> you have no answer. Um, you just like being able to say Swedish because it's a little different than other people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that response. I'm, I'm on his side I'm now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that gets me on his side. You know that scene in Always Sunny where where Charlie like moves his little cross over from like the evolution side to the yeah. fence yeah, side yeah. it's like <laughs> shmeep shop just moved me to the middle of the board i'm now on the fence Dude, the, 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 the the board mac makes where it's like galileo bitch because <laughs> science is a liar sometimes <laughs> so funny. what the fuck was going on in the topic channel like an hour ago well i was oh was it blown up <laughs> yeah well, we were adding some let to me it. just really quickly read some of the topic that these <laughs> fucking <laughs> these fucking geniuses Context, were adding we have a channel where we put topics we'll talk about during the pod all right so ludwig adds mogul money and then he adds the word come four times <laughs> and then aiden puts psg owner and then ludwig puts psg <laughs> owner's wife squirting <laughs> And then, Aiden, and then Ludwig puts Aiden hates America and his friends. And then Jake Paul Pog. So you, How are any of these topics? And, and then, not 20 minutes ago, Backyardigans from Eamon. What the fuck is wrong with well, you Well, we got one of them out of the way. We got Backyardigans Which covered. one do you want to touch on first? What is PSG I want to step, owners? No I, no, I want to go on the third uh, come under mogul money. So that was just going to come up naturally. Okay. Because uh, we already did hit one of the comes. <laughs> There's so a quota. This will it's just more so that we need to hit those along the show. Right. Well, the PSG owner, I don't know, this is an Eamon story. So I'll let Eamon take it away. Yeah, so this was at this was at Smash Summit, and I have a brief cameo uh at, at the Smash Ultimate Summit that just happened this past weekend. It's a tournament where the best 
Super Smash Brothers Ultimate players gather in the world for a huge prize pool. And uh, the production company that uh, me and Slime used to work at, Nick still works at, uh, puts this event together. And I had a brief cameo on the stream where I need to explain some uh, bit about how the format works at a certain stage of the tournament. That day, I have the my shirt on from the soccer club PSG, Paris Saint Germain. Germain. Oh. I don't know how do you how the fuck do you say it? Paris Saint Germain. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, well, so I'm never gonna say it like that. Anyway, I, <laughs> hey, I have hey, the shirt. He's, he's a pissant. Little, is he little not? logo <laughs> and pissant to you too, man. <laughs> and uh, you rule. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> hey I'll, man. I like you. I like you a lot. Schmier, that stop. pronunciation was real no, good. No, get, get away from me, guys. <laughs> that was real Continue. good. Continue. You're wearing your PSG shirt. <laughs> and, Look, yeah, and it, like, you're so hot. I, I get a little ISO shot on me, so you can very clearly see the logo on the broadcast. Whatever. And three different people come up to me afterwards and tell me about how the chat was commenting about my shirt and like uh, you know making making comments about it. So I go and look, whatever. And I just think it's really funny because I bought this shirt three weeks before Messi signs for the team. So it looks like I'm a total bandwagon fan. But for because for of Americans, Messi. this is like... Uh, if Americans need context, then... This you, is like just Tom Brady off. joining no, the, the, the Green Bay... Lionel Messi, Messi storms dude, down people, the pitch. Oh, it's Messi! Look out! Can't lose your foot on it! Who? Oh, it is a go! Lisa, go. Who do you think's commentating this? Tommy in it and fucking Miles. <laughs> yeah. and, and Jason said that would be awesome. Fucking go, wouldn't it? If they got Tommy couple... in it and Tubbo to, to commentate I would soccer. Like soccer. <laughs> if Tommy and Tubbo were commentating. Oh, if Tommy. Oh, blimey, blimey, they scored another goal. Also, you and your fucking elite. Don't say, oh, if you need contextualization to know what fucking soccer play. Don't. So many people don't care about soccer. Just, I think Messi. I think is, Messi is just a super. I literally don't level. know who that is. And I'm not I, kidding. I actually don't believe you. I don't no, believe you. I know either. he's, I don't I know he's like a guy, but as much as like, like people are like, oh yeah, Mario's in Smash Bros. Like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah. It's, really? He's yeah, literally he's the, the Mario. Super it's, Mario. It's, it's, he's the soccer? Super Mario. Yeah. I feel like he's been on the cover of FIFA multiple times. Yeah. Maybe. Do I play FIFA? 100%. He, he also is on the top of LSF, which Just you look at. Just contextualize it for me. Christ. He's is the it, greatest soccer player of all time. Okay, except for is he Ronaldo. Is he Michael except for maybe Ronaldo. Is he Michael Jordan? He's uh, Mario, dude. Yeah. He's kind of Is he's that kinda, not enough for you? Kobe. Is Super Mario he, Michael like, Jordan? Maybe like Kobe. I don't know. Maybe maybe like Is Kobe considered LeBron. the greatest ever? Maybe like In LeBron. Contention? He's like the LeBron of soccer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's the I LeBron of I'm, soccer. I'm in. Yeah. And uh he and and it just look I bought this shirt right around when he signed. So it just looks like I'm the biggest bandwagon fan of all time. You are. And I just made like a joking tweet about this. And some guy replies and he's like learn about the clubs you're a fan of bro and i Whoa. look at the i, I learn I, I look at the article and it's just this just this indicting article about how psg is owned by this like Qatari businessman who has like <laughs> ties to terrorist groups and like <laughs> and I'm like whoa like, <laughs> like and like Doha is built on slave labor and i and i literally <laughs> reply to him and it's like dude they just I thought the logo looked cool. I like Mario. <laughs> what the fuck? They they have a Dota team because like PSG sponsors a Dota team. Yeah, which you yeah. told me that when that happened, and I was like, yeah, oh, that makes sense. Which honestly, which is, it checks out now. Yeah, which is why they have a Dota team. Which is why I actually bought the shirt. They have a it's just like, team. I I liked the Dota team and the logo, and I bought the shirt. And this guy's like, yo, you got to learn about this. The like, Dota team <laughs> uses slave labor <laughs> to get their practice in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of gamers. They are incredibly, incredibly rich and corrupt. There's like six teams or something, Dude. and they're all like multi-billion dollar families. Yeah, like Escobar with the, the Brazilian soccer team. Or not the Brazilian, Jesus Christ. So when, when I was traveling to like a bunch more tournaments, like a, a few years ago, I would just find like any Smash tournament that would happen in any interesting country, and I would use that as like an excuse to go to that place. And an upcoming, like the biggest fighting game tournament in the Middle East that year was going to be in Doha. And uh, where, where is that? In Qatar. It's like the capital where of Qatar. Where is Qatar? Like, he's, he's the, this guy's talking about guitars. Uh, it's like <laughs> on an a Arabian <laughs> Peninsula. Yeah, it's to the right of Saudi Arabia. It's very small. Saudi I, Arabia, I, UAE, Kuwait. I'm, I'm sorry. You said Bahrain. I, I'm not. I'm you not said, being. You said Saudi Arabia? This is actually such a fuck you to the Bahrain fan. I feel that like you've made these too. places up. I'm not, I'm not being obtuse right now. I literally still am lost. Okay, it's in the Middle East. 
It, it, perfect. Oh, Zipper's God. got us. Zipper. Oh, Zipper's got the zoom out. You can't be in the middle yeah. of the east. Right there. It is the tiny, tiny island. It's, oh, it's that little tiny okay. thing poking out into the. Oh into the shit! Sea. It looks like I didn't a rock know hard any of penis this area. attached to yeah. Saudi Arabia. This guy's never played Geoguessr. That's life. crazy. So it's crazy. You see that? See Bahrain right next to it? We have a guy on our Patreon that we sent a postcard to. Yeah. Yeah. Bahrain. Yeah. We have one yeah. person in Bahrain. Um. So I was gonna go here. I was gonna go there for an FGC tournament that had melee at it, but it was just like their biggest FGC event. And uh, the organizer found out, like, I'm coming all the way from the U.S., which is, uh, and he's, like, super excited about it. And I'm excited to go because I just like to see new places and new cities and stuff. Um, didn't know about the slave labor at the time, admittedly. <laughs> so it wasn't. It's wouldn't like more, a thing? Was it? Yes, actually. This is oh, like. shit. It's like. Uh, bad. Look, you know I've, look, I've carried CRTs in my day. Yeah. I've done my fair <laughs> share of That's slave true. labor. I are you saying that you are every local, equivalent to the labor of a slave? Look. Every local, I've carried a few CRTs across the desert and back. Well, this is like the same conversation that they're having with the Olympics. They're supposed to be in Qatar, right? No, this is the World Cup. Oh, it's World like Cup. a big deal because they the built World the World Cup. Cup stadium in Doha with slave labor and a bunch of people so, died. Dude, really? Yeah. So many, like 3,000 like people, of people died. died. It's That's like a fucking stupid crazy. high number. Zipper, yeah. look up the number of people Holy who died shit. building the World I didn't Cup know about stadium. this. It's a bad look. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, <tough. laughs> it's not, it's not chill. <laughs> so these, these, <laughs> to say the least. Dude, the FIFA, the FIFA World Cup like video game that's going to come out for that year is yeah. going to yeah. be haunted. <laughs> yeah. 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 Most, of the, most of the game is you like building the stadium. It's just like, Take a and more it's just terrible. pretty realistic approach. <laughs> yeah. to it's like Roller Coaster Tycoon, but it's like keeping people alive. <laughs> yeah. You play as a GM, and they're like, where do you want your slaves to work today? And you're like, uh. like you know what? I'm going to take this one back. Uh, I'm going to... You're progress no, is slowing that? down. Hurry there up. is that famous soccer series where you're literally just the manager of a team. You don't even play yeah. soccer anymore. It's, Wait, uh, it's manager simulator or whatever. Wait, is yeah. it football manager? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, football manager. And then the, in the new game, you'll like bribe FIFA officials and... <laughs> Wait, is <laughs> suck off FIFA official for contract to Messi? <laughs> is Football Manager a soccer game and not an American football game? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that either. You guys know, I, this is a very special episode. You know, for me. Australian football oh. is its own sport. It's yeah. Not, yeah. It's not American it football. Or that's soccer. why. That's, that's why crazy. that Australian guy on the advice show called dude, it soccer. Yeah. Because they need to distinguish too. Uh, migrant construction workers died. That is so many people. That you know, that's like almost that's like time and a half nine eleven. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Building a stadium. This is that's true. This the death count for a stadium should be like like maybe one. And it was like Tom and he fucked up. He yeah, fell. And it was like Tom was it was gonna happen. Yeah. He, Tom, did, this guy Tom hated didn't OSHA. Follow, he, he already signed shit that it was like we already know this is gonna happen. Yeah. And he always like skipped the the latter like safety procedure. How are they and dying? he got away with it for years. How are they all dying? It's heat stroke and shit. Oh. Because they just keep him in like really <laughs> Yeah, Zip, I had the same idea it was Tom from MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> died, died building a stadium <laughs> in construction. <laughs> they just work in like horrific conditions. They all they get stuff like ten to twelve people in like one small room and bunks and shit, and then you go work a twelve hour day in the literal desert sun and then you die. Wow. Heat stroke yeah. is crazy. Have you ever had heat stroke, Ludwig? I have slightly had it, like hiking the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I've had like one time went to the desert and I was so hot. <laughs> no, I was so like, no, for, hey, I had so to it's sit not down. The same. Why don't those Why you don't those immigrant migrates. workers just start Twitch streaming? Dude. Why don't they just IRL stream? <laughs> they should have just drank more water. I don't get Say it. it. Moonshine is crazy. One time I swallowed a little bit of my mouthwash and oh boy, I was <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I uh, well, I watched a video on. Miyazaki Japan cows that make Wagyu beef and they give them salt blocks to lick. Can I just fucking say, Ludwig? Can we, you, we I want you to go it. to Japan and die there. We, we I want. To I, want dude, I brought up cows no, contextually, no, 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 and you no, no, said no. who's messy. Nobody, dude, and I know, I'm the cunt. Nobody <laughs> I know that is as old as you who talks about Japan as much has never been there. It's, it's like insanity. You're like me. the perfume 444 of 20 year olds, 20 ish. And uh, a few people will get that. What joke. the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what the fuck? Don't was worry that? about it. It hold, will hit for the people. No one get will it. get that. Okay, hold on. Let me let me close this out. Cause yeah, because the, the story. To go to Qatar. I was gonna go to went. Qatar, and I get. I'm talking to the organizer, and he's being very accommodating. Uh, they're super excited to have me come out. Everybody at this event is like from different parts of the Middle East. The majority of the attendees are not from Qatar. It gets out like a month out before I'm supposed to leave, and he sends me a long message that I wake up to in the morning. And he basically lays out about how they now have to cancel the event because all other Middle Eastern countries have agreed to block travel to Qatar because of the government's ties to terrorism. 
Wow. And and he's like, I'm so sorry. You can no longer come to our fighting game tournament. Wow. And I was like, uh, that's the, honestly, that's the best reason I've ever heard for canceling <laughs> an event. Like, I, I was really looking forward to it. I bet like, there's a but there, like, because smashers are always smashers. I bet there's people like, so, uh, like, when is my refund coming? <laughs> <laughs> so, will you still, like, give me my ticket back? Or, like, is this whole, like, terrorist situation gonna, like, can you just move it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I, this came because I said you're, you had a couple trips planned, but we also have a trip planned. Maybe. Yeah, if the Maybe. EU doesn't fucking clock us. Uh, to go to Italy as a group. Yeah. yeah. Which spawned randomly, and I th I think it's a go. I think the yard goes to Italy is Pog Champ. And you know what? You know what? We would be there on a Monday. You know what that means? We record the show on a Monday. Maybe bringing a in little Italy. bit of a remote setup. And you know what that means? On a boat. We record this shit in Italy? God damn. I feel like this... All right, look, I am agnostic to this idea. I could stay at home for a week or I could go to somewhere for a week, but I do feel like it is such a random place to go. Am I wrong? Am I fucking crazy? Italy, well, Italy is such a large travel what, destination. What wouldn't be a random yeah, place to go? Yeah, that's a great question. Go? Uh, Nippon des ka? Not loud. You can't, you can't go, go there. Why is that? Hold on. Why it, is that, that not by random? The way, that Only wasn't because he talks about it so much. He just said what wouldn't be a random place. That yeah, you can like, go to, is... sure. Okay, I will add that addendum because it's not physically possible to go to Japan. Yeah, I don't know. Then I don't think... Look, I don't think about this. I'm just saying it's it's random. To me, it's random and it's weird. It's like, oh, we're going to Italy. And I think also Italy is like a... It, like the word itself is like a symbol of affluence that I have never been close to. So it's like you only hear people go to yeah. Italy if they're like rich. And I'm like, oh, and it's like, it, wait, you you understand what he's saying? You, yeah, I felt like it was. No, I get what he's saying right now. Yeah, I don't. Hi. It's just like I'm it, three for three. I, and and now <laughs> I'm envisioning like a version of Call Me by Your Name, but there's like a little, there's a young Bruno boy in it instead. If you want to fuck me, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we can well, we can just, we can just hash that out. I was talking about him. Oh, <laughs> if you want to fuck me, <laughs> no, you do win the no, kill. Fuck Mary. I feel like never mind. It's, it's nothing. It's, you want to. <laughs> So it's about I'm like call me by your name. Have you ever? I'm, I'm super hot. I'm oiled up. You want to fuck Nobody me? Nobody gets oiled up in that movie. Have you ever in your entire life, Anthony, thought like, oh, I really want to travel to X? No. Okay, well that's why everything's random, right? Yeah. But I think I think Italy, although random, is is it's it's dope. I think it. You are both Italian. I want to go, and I've never been to Italy. Yeah. And I think it would be cool to go where the first Bruno ever came. <laughs> into like a into an olive garden. Yeah, and then that sprouted the your dad. And, and where the not, bread not the at? one off the side of the highway. That's yeah. gonna be the first thing I say they, there. Is, hey, where the bread olive garden there? <laughs> you go do to. We, do you think they have like a really nice olive garden? Where's Mario? They stand? probably do. Honestly, they probably have like an insane olive garden, like Florence. What's well, funny where it started? <laughs> that they guessed. Up. That's where they started the, oh, the franchise. Yeah. Just like the outback. Did the outback steakhouse start no, in Australia? Oh, yes. Guys, yes, it did. This is the most American. We just lost. We just lost two enormous chunks of our viewership. <laughs> no, I can From verifiably two, say two countries. Our, our, messy, our they gigantic just Italian viewership. We have a lot of Australian viewership. So. Look, uh, McDonald's, I know, came from the great con the nation of McDonald's. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everyone this is that. This is fair and true. <laughs> that is fact. So, so yeah. I'm not totally Italy trip stupid. in the works. They just announced today that there's some the Burger Kingdom. But it should be it should be it should be non impactful. I think. I'm trying to get my my neck tattooed in Italy. <laughs> what? Oh, he, yeah. no, because he needs to do his one tattoo per trip. Yeah, Bambino. Yeah. I want to do my neck. And this time it won't be in a dark, illegal basement like it was in Japan. That was awesome. <laughs> when, I tra when I traveled to Japan, it's pretty hard to get tattooed there because like it's, oh, it's illegal, right? It's uh, it's not illegal, but it's just like really frowned upon. So it's like hard to find good artists. There's a lot of like shitty artists it's, in like. But they're not like publicly seen in like uh, areas. It's bad yakuza vibes. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that makes you, sense. It's yeah. like gangster. Club. So I had to yeah. I had to travel like three hours by bullet train to find this guy who like said he would do it, and uh, his shop was like underground. Like it was like a hidden shop with no sign underground. I was like, yeah, I would die here. Three. For, like, hold on. Three it, hours by bullet train. Did you like go across the entire yeah. nation of Japan? Yeah, it went really far away. Duh. Went from like Tokyo to uh, I can't remember where. I want to say it was like near like Nara or something. You know where that is? Japan expert. <laughs> oh yeah, there's one in downtown next to Target. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No uh, shot. Yeah, and he he I told him he could do whatever he wanted, 
and he was very excited because he like has, doesn't get the tattoo Americans. <laughs> you come out of there very with frequently. a huge dick on your <laughs> That'd be sick. Beautiful yeah. Japanese oh, styled so. penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd be down, like a, honestly. A Japanese characters yeah, all over that story would be so worth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was terrifying, but it was sick. He did a good tattoo. What yeah. um, the tattoo is sick? Did he try to like feed you blowfish too, or something, or was it just? <laughs> yeah, that was part of it. He tried to feed me blowfish. Uh, <laughs> just all kinds of shady, yeah, dangerous shit. He was humming the Mario theme song. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you would think was happening there. Yeah. And then he told me that Steve would be in Smash. And <laughs> it happened. Yeah, he somehow knew that. Uh, <laughs> And that's how slash V leaks work. It's, it, it's one guy in a basement tattoo shop in Japan who just knows about the fighter DLC. What tattoo are you getting? Uh, I, don't, I never, I never know. You never know. I always just tell them to do whatever the fuck Patreon they want. Patreon art contest. Oh, what tattoo? about that? Yeah, I would do that. Have everyone in the Patreon not for my neck. draw a different penis. <laughs> not for my neck. neck. And the nicest one you get tattooed on you. Well, I don't want a penis tattooed. Well, on me. there's some spicy Patreon perks coming up. We got. Naked Ludwig progress pictures, yeah. balls and dick Don't and cock. I think that was we, can, we could do the ones black, where it's like tart. it's like a side by side, so it's like him being fat and disgusting, but he's also bald and he's frowning. <laughs> and then we do one of him smiling and he's lost like twenty pounds and he's like, yeah. And we like we like Photoshop his dick like the Justin Bieber like magazine cover <laughs> when he made his biceps all big. <laughs> this is, so this is confirmed, hard confirmed by Ludwig, one hundred percent. And then also. Nick will get a tattoo. <laughs> Choose of, my tattoo of anything that you post on the Patreon page. Anything. Look, any wait, like, so I'll all. get all of them. Yeah, he gets them all. Look, we we hit 10k <laughs> patrons. So much money. We That's hit 10k all the patrons. Money. I'll get I'll get a Patreon tattoo. Wow. Well, we, we did talk about today what tat matching tattoos we could get on our thighs to make you guys jealous. Nothing would make me like jealous. you two. Wait, yeah. wait, you two? Yeah, to compete with because me and Slime have matching tattoos. Yeah, we need it. We need something. I wouldn't be jealous. I would just join in. It's crazy. It, it is bond. crazy that with Ludwig, I was like Ludwig, we should go get a tattoo together. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like a year later, Ludwig, you want to get our tattoo? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one day he just gets one with Anthony. Yeah, well, I was, was like, it, what was the it fuck? Content? Uh, it no, ours been. was just for funsies. Look, oh, I'll that's a bet. It was a bet. You want to tell him the truth? You know what'll hurt them? No, most? I'm sorry. I'm saying me and him. Oh, oh you want to okay. tell them the truth? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell them the truth. Well, the truth is that we both wanted the tattoo. I was down to get it. Yeah, because I, I look. Let's be real. I could have beaten your ass in the YLYLs. Ludwig <laughs> throws, and I'm breaking the news here right now on the Yard Podcast. I got to give him some gimmies, dude. He laughs at too much. <laughs> Ludwig keeps it close during the YLYLs, and, and the illusion is broken, it, and your parasocial relationship is now over. You know who doesn't throw is Aiden. That guy sucks at not laughing. Yeah. You laugh at fucking everything. I have a you laugh, you lose idea where I, they start with 10K, and every time one of them laughs, they lose $100. This is, this, first of all, don't say it like it's a damning. Like, I, I don't think this is Well, it means you have no resilience. <laughs> is that what it means? Does it not? I think it means I enjoy life. Does it mean it does. both? It's both. It can't mean both. Me. But also, like, I, there's a gun to your sweet, sweet, hot mom's you know head. You know Come okay. on. Right here. You know what's so funny is I've thought about this exact scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about this exact scenario. Because when I laughed, when I laughed in the group competition we did that one time, afterwards I thought to myself, like, could I keep it together when it really counts? <laughs> and I was like, like, my family's life is on the line. I'm like... I don't think I could. Like, You're doing a training, mo training montage could. like Rocky looking at sad shit, yeah. brave shit. Get the happy thoughts out of your head, Aiden. It wouldn't and, happen. And he watches like a, a baby like like throw a hot dog and he's like, fuck! <laughs> it is anything for you. <laughs> like he's thinking about it. Where did you get the hot dog from? The you know what I, I hate know. is that you still laugh at Slime's fart because I think if you didn't, it would have been bullied out of him. No. I haven't laughed I don't at him in the laugh past that. two weeks. No, that's not I just, true. no, no, no I just get mad at him. I just get furious now <laughs> you guys because it realize. is so bad. This is, it's not funny this is anymore. the most cap you have ever put on the show. No, you aren't there to witness it anymore because of your deal. Like a week ago, I was in the room when you cheated it. And I didn't Shut laugh. Shut up, Bobby. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. I only laughed because he broke the deal uh, with you. Okay. Yeah. I didn't break the deal, by the he way. He can you... vouch. I get super mad at him. Yeah, but get, you guys are acting like that matters at all. It smells bad. That's why it matters. <laughs> Don't You can't say that as if there's no consequence. No, no, no. I know. I'm just saying <laughs> no reaction you ever give me will ever stop me from doing it. Because I do it alone and I laugh at myself. Like... It's that, over. That gives me a no girls problem. around you do it. Hmm? If a girls around you do it, no, you're a pussy. Yeah, 
Slime's the only person I know who is like Slime. What does that mean? In in every way. Like put her there. He, like he's never he's never felt the desire to travel to a place. All of them like traveling. They did not grow up in that yeah, city. I think that's this is a common thing. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go on his. There's side so many one. random things that you're just like yeah like I don't think about that like like hanging out with people makes you stressed. Yeah. Like so many random things. I I just never met the anyone most like human this. part about him is when he had a girl over he would poop in the downstairs bathroom. Yeah. Like a simp. Yeah. <laughs> I have I to shit do that. with cutie in the room, door open. You're that's a freak. You're, you're just in a different level. Your you also, man. You, 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 that's not a good thing. This is a great thing. Don't brag about. I'm that. always me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I never you know take what? time off. I'm actually, on his side. That's huge. You're on his side. Yeah, now. he's always him. For <laughs> um, better or for like, worse, he, it's like Big Sean over here. It's like that's all me. Just, uh, <laughs> just that's all me. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting on yeah. the fucking. The toilet while cutie is like crying in the other room <laughs> okay. why why is she crying now yeah, yeah, now because, it's sad no because she's fucking shitting <laughs> because you're shitting in front of her <laughs> no she's she screaming stop shitting please stop, stop pooping now my farts are pretty quiet but in the morning first thing i do when i get up every single morning is i brush my teeth and then i wash my face and then i sit down on the toilet to pee but when you sit, it spreads your cheeks a little bit. Uh-huh. Yes. And I let out like a six second fart that had built up during the night. <laughs> is it silent? Every morning? No. It is the only time my fart is loud. It, it, it reverberates through the room. And Cutie <laughs> sleeps Swift in throws like up. two hours. <laughs> Aiden starts carrying him. Cutie usually sleeps in. And I didn't know until like three months into us living together. She was like, yeah, I hear you fart every morning. <laughs> You thought you were asleep. <laughs> I, I thought she was sleeping through it because she usually is asleep when I get up. This but is, she just is always awake and she's like, yeah, you have the loudest farts in the morning. That's your... Because I don't close the door all the way in the morning That's the either. alarm clock that you set for her. <laughs> yeah, she's I, like, I, oh. I hate Europeans. Uh, what does this have to do with... Because <laughs> you're European. <laughs> Everything, Ludwig. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not European right now. I could be. I could get my French you, citizenship. You do run... Don't you have it You already? do run the well, AC a I lot. need to like... You need to like do shit. To get like actually you, your documents. Oh, you don't have the passport on deck. No, I don't have the passport on you deck. Don't have the Swedish one on deck either. Big I don't fan. have either on deck. I only have my oh, but I'm proud American of my Swedish passport. Heritage. Oh, you like you like Sweden? Name five items at IKEA right now. I don't think I could name five cities in Sweden. The Albo, uh, uh, Homo, Lark. <laughs> um, there's fuck Skull. A Lark. I got you. You guys but, that, you guys that video of the of like the dude sitting down in the living room and they're like smoking weed and they like get up and leave and they're in IKEA. They're in one of the yeah, fake rooms. Yeah, that's one of my favorite videos <laughs> yeah. of all time. That video that fucking video. rules. They're not only smoking weed, video. they're like hitting a dab rig and like doing shots and then blowing it out after. Yeah. Just, and it's this really old man and he's just like this hardcore motherfucker. And then it, it, it just zoom out and they're in an Ikea <laughs> staging. Ugh. That's how, how, that's how long do you think you get away with like streaming on Twitch from an Ikea? Would they shut it down? <sighs> Would Twitch shut it down? No, or what, what IKEA? IKEA. Uh, if you were IRL streaming, I mean, it'd be hard to catch you, right? Like you know, you just like set, you go into one of the fake rooms and you like set it up on top of the fake. Oh, computer you're talking about yeah. This, yeah. And like streaming up from the office. IKEA. Room. Dude, that's a good Dude, idea. You oh get away God. with it. I think you get away with it for a couple hours. Boys! Honestly, you'd have, to, you'd have to bring a laptop and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you could get away with it. You for like a go bit. to like move like a picture frame and the wall rips off. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> the thing is, you start the stream, you don't even tell your stream you're in an IKEA. Yeah, yeah. No, you could set it up so the background is just the the set of like a room yeah. and then you see how long it takes them Dude, to that'd be out. i just have some guests over this is a really good idea <laughs> yeah. this is a good idea do you want to do it yeah i'm down this is a good to stream, stream from an ikea we although just, now we just got to do it before someone steals it so we it, also have to do it before the yard narks to my twitch chat so they know then the yard would narc immediately no narks yeah no what narks. if what if we we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we'll figure it out um speaking of stream i'm guys i'm struggling What's what are you up? struggling for <laughs> mogul money's in a week I have zero hoes lined up. Oh, shit. I have asked... I asked Aiden this week. I'm like, do we have guests for mobile I'm money? Like, I don't know. I've asked a bunch of people. Everyone has flaked. You know what you should do? What? You should have the four of us and do the yard mobile Dude, money. that's what I was going to bring up. I think I might. I think it's not a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. Wait, is this on... This is on the 7th? Riddle me why. Because I think that the fun part about mogul money is seeing famous people on it. Yes, sir. And I hate the ecosystem of like influencer docking and sucking and and milking. And I'm saying that that's a better thing than us. However, if you command me, 
captain. Wait, Think of influencers I, like penises. And the okay. larger the influencer, the bigger the penis. Yep. Mm-hmm. But if they are in a group mm. that they don't vibe with, they will be soft and smaller. And you guys will be like rock hard, tiny dicks. I, yeah. Because we vibe so well together. Yeah. I think that what. Do you what, get what I mean? No. I, I, <laughs> I think. I get what you sure, mean. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Maybe it would ultimately make for like a more entertaining broadcast product for that day of. But we're not schlat in a YouTube thumbnail. We're no. funny. Okay. Here's I would the just thing. have to be myself in the thumbnail. We are, all of you. We are funnier than like. <laughs> Any sort of hodgepodge uh, grouping of influencers, I believe that just because I have to to sleep at night, uh-huh. right? But mm-hmm. I again, I just don't think it's like, uh, yeah, I think it's better is, to have I, famous people. I I thought about this this week in suggesting it, but I held back because I think it's a bad time to do it so early. It's the third episode. I think of everyone Money. in this room is wrong. Yeah, I, I'm with. Wait, I think it's a good idea, and I think wait, I'll probably wait, end up him. No, except for Ludwig. Oh, so it's, I was gonna say. I think you should only cancel fifty percent of the room. <laughs> yeah, he thinks some of the people in this room are wrong. Right. Wait. Okay. No. Oh, a zippers I, in another yard room, against. So. What do you think? Hey, Yardigans, <laughs> Pablo. Of course, of course, they want to see it. It's probably bad ass. Austin's them. Yardigans, Bernie's pussy, or these guys on <laughs> Mogul Money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think it's a good idea. It'd be a good show. It also would help promo the yard a bunch. Hey, look, if you're down with it, I'm so down. But I think look, you know uh, how I've, it, I've look, said my piece. Yeah, please. Look, we're, Nick. Not, we're not Jay Slap, but you know how you fucking get there as you do shit. No, I'm I know. down to do shit. I'm down to. Here's do what shit. we do: five head. Actually, okay. You guys get a mask. Of someone else, like a big streamer, <laughs> and we act as them. I want a Connor mask and just for I'm like a, a bit, mask. for like a minute, and then I'll just clickbait that. You get like a shroud mask, and I go, yeah. "Our was shroud yeah. is He's here. finally paying up. Yeah, yeah th- this worked. I am now on their side. This is weird. Okay, all right. No, I was shopping. I was just shopping. <laughs> uh, well, I no, think it's no, also a good idea. it's not a bad idea because there's two shows this month. Well, technically, right? there's a show on the seventh and the show on the twenty eighth. Are you sure? I thought every date got pushed back. No. This is true in facts. This is He's a true fact. So there's only three mm. weeks of Ladge between one the Vag. Of the, one I can of the few do... times where he was has it right and you don't. I there's would only say. three weeks of Ladge between the Vag. Lag between, between the, the Vag, vag. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I heard that. Well, what does that mean? The lag time between like this, this, the vagina. This is I so see. funny. This I is see. just like the scene. Yeah. It's actually just happened. And he doesn't know the scene. happened exactly What's how the scene? it went. It's from a movie. It's from I Love You, Man. Oh, I've seen I Love You, Man. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I watched it on a plane once. Yeah. That is a scene in it, in the, almost the exact conversation. But yeah, I think this is a good idea. All right, Yardigans, if you want to see Pablo, Helga Pataki, and uh, Penguin on the Yardigans, <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo is the Penguin. Don't have me on. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think it'll be great. I think fire it's, fire right. merch I'm idea down. that we had was it's the back Yardigans, but it's us as animals. And it's the four of us. Uh huh. That's, That's cute. Uh, I think that would bang. That's cute. I would love to make Animorphs merch. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like we could write books. You, you, yeah. you just turning into a bigger asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if, what if we? Do you think people would buy it if I wrote four Animorph books based on all of us? Yeah. If you wrote one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> four, like, if you, the collection. Are you gonna sit and write four books? Dude, Animorphs books are so like short. The text they is like this short. big. Yeah, they're, they're like, like one hundred character or like one hundred pages. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hundred page essay. Yeah. Well, okay, so there it settles it. We're gonna be on the yard. Uh, we're gonna yes. intersect with IP. We're gonna be, we're gonna be on the mogul. yard. Yes. No, the yard's Finally. gonna be on mogul money. Nude progress photos with full spread butthole. Okay, that's not tattoo happening. Tattoo all over the place. Probably on full spread that butthole. Speaking of the what pa- an action packed ep. Speaking of the Patreon, me and Atri- me and Atrioc, is that your name? Me and Atrioc uh, went to the post office today oh, to uh, send all of the postcards <laughs> why do they have so many people working here and we're ha- <laughs> that's what, that atrium uh, that's i tried you sounded like you sounded like the uh i honestly you sounded like, like the, jerry seinfeld or something no, he sounded exactly <laughs> like, like the uh the anime guy who like he like goes to the anime store and is like reading the book about incest what is that who's that character ah. he's like the on the fake news show he's like i don't know that guy? Oh, Andrew Bowser. That's Bowser who you Vitz. sounded like. Bowser Vitz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's one. I like that guy. Yeah. It's funny. Insane. Your Atriox has never been that bad. My Atri- it's because I didn't want to lean on. That's fucking funny. That's fucking, fucking funny. funny. Oh, that's fucking funny. Uh, anyway. You were uh, at the Atriox yeah, store. It's not, this isn't really much of a story, but we were just like at the post office and we have like we have like fucking 700 postcards and yeah, we're, we're walking we're in with a big bag. We're all your guys' fucking postcards. And uh, the line there is enormous. It's like a 50 person line. And uh, we don't want to wait to like ask them what to do with these. So we're sitting at the individual letter slot 
and we're like, should we just put all of them in? But there's like this situation that's possible where we don't have a return address on any of them. So if they go in and they don't have enough postage on them, none of them will get sent. But they also will not get returned. Yeah, they'll just end up in a, a fire, hopefully. And we t- we spent like a week doing these. We finished them today and we started a week ago. It took so long. And uh, so me and Aiden are just there holding up the entire letter slot by putting like fucking a bunch of these things. Was, into was this in front slots. of the blue machine? Like the, the, like the robot that takes it? No. Ye- kind of, kind of. Oh, one of your guys' uh, letters got signed by Stavros. Yeah, there's a couple There's if a couple features. Of one of them got signed by Stav, and then there was one more. Who was Zipper. it? Zipper. Zipper did one. And one got signed by Zipper. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Archie is British, so he doesn't know how to read or write, so he yeah. was unable to do it. <laughs> yeah, or brush his teeth. Or... <laughs> We're teaching him very slowly, but the... he's learning really fast. By the way, so Stav was on last episode. For one, performed the worst out of any episode we'd ever did in terms of metrics. We loved it. it was I don't fun. think it's true. It was close to the bottom, though. It was, cl- it was well, seventh. Yeah. Seventh and nine. It's like getting ninth at Summit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, and I, I was talking to Nick about this. It's so funny because, like, okay, let's not lie. There is a, this podcast was built on the, the bones and the, the, the rotting remains of Ludwig viewership, right? Which is, I, I, w- I would say, I would like to say the initial push of this po- of this podcast was to, take the Ludwig audience and take as many people as we could and have them watch this show. I think like over time, the goal is to transcend that. But sure. our, our initial push yeah. was to get as many people as we could who are invested in the people who are on the show. And most of that is Ludwig viewership. I made you. Children's well. bones <laughs> form the mountain that we stand atop. All right. Children. Yeah. We that, to be clear, we have not killed any children. I just want to make that very fire. clear. That's weird. You have to clarify that. <laughs> there's no one at the wheel. Hey, and that's a yard podcast clarification. <laughs> and so, and so it's like, because Ludwig, he blows up Amogus right now. He's like, <laughs> he, he's part of like, he, he's like hanging out with Pokemon and shit. And like Valkyrie, like was on stream the other day. Like, wow, it's like Kuno sometimes. Wow, it's like there's a there's a <laughs> wow. Pi- there's a piece. That's a truck, dude. Sykuno viewership is not ready for there, st- what I'm saying. There's a pie piece of that of Ludwig's viewership that is from that environment, and they're mm. like, okay, I'll watch Ludwig. He's kind of edgy. He's kind of nuts. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, it, if, if mom's not home, I'll turn his stream on, mm. right? And then <laughs> a smaller sliver of those people, they go and they're like, you know what? Ludwig's kind of funny like that guy. I'm going to check out his podcast because that slime guy, he's certainly very mean, but I'm sure the other people are fine. <laughs> and they check it out. And the first thing they click on is fucking Stavros. And he's talking about sucking titties. <laughs> sucking titties and, and, 9-11. And, yeah. And if the, I can only imagine them just watching it like Videodrome and just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong with the new flash. <laughs> Dude. And so the comments, I feel like, reflected that. And I do wonder how many of that, of well, that sort of that's audience what I was, That's what I was telling out. you. I was like, this is probably our most... It, it polarizing episode because it was very interesting to me to see the number of people that thought it was the best and funniest episode, but also the only episode where we've gotten pushback. Are people saying people like this saying, was the worst? People yeah. saying that this was the worst, or I only listened to like ten to twenty minutes of it. And I think it's just his type of humor and that type of content is just so like misaligned from some people's expectations. I thought that was the funniest episode. Yeah, that was or great. Top two, yeah. the edible. I, I will we say it's great. I will say at the very least, it was my favorite to record. Yeah. My goal every time I go into this podcast is to try to make it funny enough for my uh, childhood friend Jake to listen to on his way to work. He's your guy. He's my target. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like all of us have like a Jake. Yeah, like yeah. someone who we're like. I hope you think I'm funny. But if your name is like Samantha and you are 15, then I'm sorry. Jake's a little different. Yeah, and we're gonna have a, a slight Jake misalignment. Joke. But but you know, I think it's still enjoyable regardless of if you're Jake or not. I think it's an opinion. Like it's just an opinion based thing, right? Because I thought the criticism that's why I, I wanted to bring up was the the boys club point. Because it did feel a bit boys clubby, I thought. Yeah, and it I, is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no girls fucking allowed, Aiden. <laughs> I thought you said you were down. I just, I just think the word pussy got used a lot. And it, that's but, true. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, yeah. Basically, Children's bones are what are being devoured each and every day yeah, uh, and yeah. on this podcast. And you know what's funny? You said that about Jake. <laughs> Kurt Vonnegut once said, write for one single other person. Like that, he has these like eight or ten like rules for writing, and a lot of like writing students follow them. 
Uh, and that was one of them. Mm. So you're actually following. Did a, he a live goat. a good life, or did he like die tragically? Kurt Vonnegut. Yeah, yeah he, he lived, lived a good life. life. Okay. So I just I don't want to follow the philosophy. I think he of was guys, troubled. Like, this is sad my... and died at 33. No. He was he was based. He was yeah, based. That's yeah, it. the original this is my based writer. To you because you didn't know where Doha was. Uh -huh. I need to know who Kurt Vonnegut is. Really? He yes. wrote Slaughterhouse Five. Which you've heard of. Oh, yeah. I have heard of that. That's all you need to know. Yeah. yeah. Everything else is just deep cuts for, Great for American someone like author. you. Okay. He's American, right? Uh, yeah. American literature. Uh, speaking of the great Americans, we got Coinbase back here once again. Let's go. As a sponsor of this pod. But you know what isn't back once again? Our goddamn motherfucking code. That's true. Coinbase. Well, can we really flame them if they stuck around after the Stav episode? No. That's yeah, true. They stick around. They, I so, mean, look. The code's for... For them, right? True. We so, don't need a code. We don't need a code. You can go download Coinbase. Check it out. You go check it out. Find some cryptocurrency you're interested in. Pretty much everything you can think of is going to be on there. Cop it. Crypto. Coinbase. I know. I know. App Store. Well, you've been you're, really, you're, your you're good with Ethereum. the buzzwords. Yeah. <laughs> They would uh, love you. You're sitting pretty with your Ethereum oh, look, right I'm not, now. I, look, I'm not, hey, I'm not here to talk about prices, but you know, I, you know, I do, I, I do my things. <laughs> yeah, it's, I can always gauge whether or not Ethereum is doing well on how Ludwig treats Aiden. <laughs> yeah, Aiden told me to buy it, so anytime it goes down even one dollar, I, yeah, I go walk over. I say, "You fucked me." Anytime it goes up a dollar, <laughs> anytime it goes up though, he'll be like, "You see Ethereum? You see Ethereum? <laughs> this is an abusive relationship. Yeah. You see Ethereum?" And I go, "Yeah, good job." <laughs> I hope it holds. Yeah. Uh, uh, so download Coinbase. Uh, you know, give them some love on social media as well. It goes a long way in terms of like their brand and the and the marketing department and those Jack those poor Patrick. social media souls that have to pour over the accounts. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for sponsoring the pod. And uh, man, more like uh, boat boat troll media. It's about boats, and it's only you only, only uh, talk about boats on it. There, we, you know what's funny? We did not clear out the uh, the topic channel, so there's three more comes to speak about. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We've hit oh, a few comes good. already. We got a picture of Mario that is popular. <laughs> Why did this just pop up? Yeah, Super yeah. Mario. <laughs> you look, dude, he stands up. Okay, so we did PSG owner. Now we uh, PSG owner's wife squirting. Okay, that was, look, <laughs> to be very clear, that was only a joke because we talked about Jill Biden squirting. <laughs> And then I found out she was young, and I felt less comfortable. I think because yeah. she still has, like, a functioning vagina. And I assume Jill and Joe are just, like, years gone from having... Are you saying Jill doesn't have... Look. Yes. <laughs> I'm saying Joe doesn't get hard, and I'm saying Jill can't birth children. All right? The wife of the PSG owner is, like, 35 or something. Like Oh, most. so it's only funny to talk about <laughs> squirting if someone can't. Yes, yeah. So I can only talk about Eamon squirting his head off. Yes. On a Sibian. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he on can't a Sibian do it. Sibian machine. Holy yeah. shit. That's, I can't unsee that's Aiden That's another on a Patreon goal, actually. Me, the, the video of me Aiden on a, on a Sibian. Sibian. Yeah. And it all, it, what the crazy part is it already exists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I rode the Sibian and uh, it wasn't oh, really my thing. Like, it's fine. It was, was fine. Just, I wasn't, wasn't recommend. I wasn't really my thing. I probably wouldn't do it again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dude, I'm imagining a fucking Amazon stream where Ludwig buys a Sibian. You know, he like, he no, like dude. takes everything out. He's like, it's a, all right, Chad, here we go. It's, it's, a, it's a Slim Jim contest. And it's like all my roommates try to ride the Sibian as long as they can. Winner gets can, my, can my roommates tell the difference between a cheap and expensive Sibian? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and Nick comes in and he's like, no, so if I'm, I'm fucking going to fucking go to the Sibian. And then he fucking sits down. And he's just stone faced, and like vibrating like crazy. And he's just like, I was the best in my high school. <laughs> YLYC. That would be Nick. You laughed. He would you win you it. Come? Is that what it is? Yeah. You laugh, you come, and it's just like a device. <laughs> it's, it's just two things you do. You Dude, the YouTube title that I saw recently, it was like the one on Twitter. It was uh, CSP took our kids hyphen. Uh, seafood mukbang. Yeah, <laughs> and it was it was like a real YouTube title for a real YouTube video. What is, what I want to I want to pull it up and hear what the Twitter hear what the intro this is. Was this is Ludwig it. 15 years in the future when he finally makes it to Nippon Desk, has a family, and gets all his kids taken. Okay, I found it. What it is? It's your boy Damien. Her what name's am I? Bianca. She's just ex elongating it. That's awful. Bianca. Oh wait, it's CPS. Almost took our kid from us. Oh, uh, it was. And I think it was, I think originally it wasn't almost. I don't know. Look, you can pull up um, oh. Ethan Klein's Twitter zipper and, and and show us. Dude, this this 
it's the Prince family, 8.5 million subscribers, and they're just YouTubers. Every day I find a new channel with like way more subscribers than me that makes insane content. I'm like, damn, I didn't know this existed. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a whole, there's markets on markets on markets. You could do a lifestyle YouTube channel. Have you ever yeah. seen those like Forbes, like highest like highest earners for YouTubers and then number one is like the kid who opens Ryan. toys. Ryan's yeah. Toy yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made so he made like sixty million dollars. More toys. Uh yeah. which is crazy. <laughs> that that is a crazy amount of money to make as like a nine year old. You get more toys. How does that even work when you're when you're nine? Your parents keep all the money and then they Your keep parents. you running on a treadmill to make more. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what happened with Tommy and Tubbo. You think so? Their parents just well I, I don't think they were like Get back to the stream, boys. Get back into the nether. I, yeah, it was, <laughs> I think it was more like, you know, they're holding on to the money. When your mom's the imposter. <laughs> Dude, Dude right, sussy, guys? sussy dream, baka. Yeah. Dream only cheated because his mom told him to. Mm, she knew a drum views. up. Yeah. Yeah, we need to drum up some suspense. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think boomers understand that. No. Well, I remember the, the time that I, when I introduced you to Flight 23 White. Because I thought he was just a, a 2K streamer, and then I, I just, I liked watching him a lot, and then I, like, I looked at his YouTube, and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. This guy is like, this is nuts. It's Flight Reacts, and he's, like, talking to my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend, and he's, like, crying in the thumbnail. Wait. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. Does he have a big YouTube channel? Huge. I it, think it's, like, 4 million or something? Yeah, dude, it was oh, 4 wow. million when we found it. Yeah, it might be a 5 It's already. probably way bigger, yeah. I did not It's unhinged, that. dude. There's, like, a stream of, like, his ex, like, coming to his house and, like, demanding to be let in. and It's it's weird. It's, like, DIY reality TV. And then sometimes he just plays one-on-one -on -one basketball with people. Yeah. With like and that's famous, people. and then he reviews it, and then every time he ever misses a shot, he's like, "Yeah, I, you know that that was my shoe." <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's, he's super funny, it, but it's crazy because like I think I don't know the exact number. There's like like at least one person who hits. I think it's one, two, or three people hit a million subscribers every day on YouTube. Uh, and there's twenty three thousand channels that have crazy. over a million. I remember back in the day when you would like. I don't think they do this anymore, but you could check the YouTube top ten. Is that a thing still? Uh, you can do it like on Social Blade. You could check. They it. used to do it integrated on YouTube. I don't think that exists anymore. Uh, yeah, it's the brush your teeth song, be, and it's no, uh, not videos. It was people. You go to channels and, and sort by most yeah. subscribed. And it was did the brush your teeth. Song. It was like <laughs> Fred and like Niga Higa and Mosh or something in the yeah. top three. Like that was hype when it was just, you were just tracking people. Dude, I hate saying Ryan's channel name. Yeah, it's always <laughs> it, it's always a sweat whenever I it comes up. Hate. I, I read it. Me. I'm like. Oh, Ryan! Because <laughs> uh, I hate saying it. <laughs> I'm always blown me. away. Like, there was that time in YouTube, uh, back when he was, like, particularly popular, probably until, like, 2013, where you could you could know every big creator on the platform. Like, it was possible. Yeah, yeah. It was smaller. It was way more tight. It was, like, Twitch-sized. Yeah. yeah. Twitch is tiny comparatively. Twitch has such a small, little, tiny cranberry ball sack. They do. Compared oh, to YouTube's They have such market dominance in live streaming, though. Huge shalong. Do you truth. see uh, Dr. Lupo left? I don't. Yeah. Okay. So for what? I know Dr. Lupo is, is like, popular. Don't know who he is. Dr. Lupo? Dr. Lupo is the Qatar of streamers for me. Oh, he invented Advil. <laughs> he, he, uh, he's Dr. Life. Lupo also with ties. To terrorist organization. <laughs> you know Dr. Mario? It's like his brother. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he's a live streamer with no ties to slavery. Uh, no, sure? I said terrorist. Oh, yeah. yeah no, that's true. Ter look, I thought all this charity evil, stuff yeah. was just projected. That's, no, that, that was, it was funding for terrorist don't, groups. <laughs> don't misrepresent Do Dr. Dr. Lupo, terrorist <laughs> fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring terrorism back. Three mil! <laughs> <laughs> it's like ATQ race look. for the terror. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a live streamer. He played a bunch with Ninja back in the day. And now he just plays like random fighting or shooters. Uh, like uh, I'm, thinking, sorry, I'm thinking about terrorists without borders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, that's there. how terrorists work. <laughs> yeah, it's not really, not really a border. Doctor Lupo <laughs> plays Fortnite until the next terrorist attack. Subathon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Speaking of, you know how you you just said you just said he's like just playing shooters and uh -huh. shit right now. Yeah. The, Twitch is so lost. Everyone is so lost. There's nothing to do. Well, he's there's actual, nothing to he's watch. He's an actual gamer, but he, he plays like uh, you know some battle royale or some shooter or some competitive thing, um, it, like for years. And he was a huge Twitch guy. Has the giant streams with the charity ones that raise like three million dollars for the terrorists. 
and <laughs> he just signed with YouTube exclusively. Uh -huh. Which, which I will say, there's gonna be a bunch more people soon. Why? I Why? can't leak. Oh! But a bunch more people. <laughs> I don't know what that Christ. was. I don't know if he's just. That was my whole shit alarm. Yeah. Well, Ludwig's got secret info. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. I do have some secret info that I can't reveal too much, but I, I think a lot of streamers are going to leave Twitch for YouTube. Oh! Why, that, I, there's no new that's info. That's crazy. Stop. Why are you doing that? That's crazy. Foyz is, that. uh, you, is going to get some bonus checks this quarter. Yeah, he might get a little paper. He might Who? get a little paper. He, Foyz, head of guy. YouTube Gaming. Yeah. Oh, Fwiz? Like yeah. an old uh, Call of Duty commentator yeah. that became like the head of gaming. He's at YouTube. like the DJ Wheat of those guys. Exactly, actually. Yes. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I think a bunch of people are leaving mainly because there are like zero good contracts coming from Twitch's end. Um, yeah, if you guys aren't uh, privy to this, Twitch and other streaming platforms often, uh, knowing this being in the industry at you know different companies, uh, they will sign exclusivity deals. And that's what prevents you from streaming on other sites and makes you stream on one other site. For instance, Ninja's deal way back with Mixer. With Mixer, yeah. Um, God, so, what a W. Dude. What a 40 W. 40 mil no, 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 no. for a year? You're still you're still depressed playing League. No, no. one gets out of but that. But you still oh. have an extra yeah, 40 dude, mil. He copped 50 million. He copped million. 40 mil for a year. And, and has he too. looked any happier at all? Yeah, I think Ninja's happy. I think you're... Dude, no. <laughs> Ninja's no. depressed. Yeah, Slime has this theory <laughs> that Ninja has depression. Yeah. He's like every 12 Linus year old. is a dick and Ninja is depressed. <laughs> you are every and they 12 year old league together. <laughs> you, it's insane. It's insane how dumb you are. <laughs> <laughs> look at, look, look at Tyler, bro. Tyler and Linus dude, on look. the rift. And he's just like. You're dumb as Linus. bricks. <laughs> dude. So dude, Tyler, I got onto the rift today with Tyler Ninja Black. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. Tyler and Linus. <laughs> Played, uh, <laughs> playing Final Fantasy online together. Yeah, dude. And they're raiding, and you know Ninja's not hitting his fucking timings, bro. You know it. You, you are know? as bad as the parasocial viewers you complain about. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 But you I, are just that. Yeah. You know what the difference yeah. is, Ludwig? Yeah. I, am. Well, I am. There is no difference. Ludwig, you know what the difference is? There is no difference. Doing this? Damn. We're all are touching feet his off legs, too? audio Shit. listeners. If you do this, you're still dumb as bricks. It's because I'm funny when I do it. Uh, they, That is self-imposed. <laughs> <laughs> Vote on your phones now, Yardigans. <laughs> Don't appeal to them oh. by using a parasocial name for them. <laughs> My Yardigans. Uh, yeah, Ninja did catch a bag, but I think a bunch of people are going to leave Twitch, which wow. is which is interesting. Why do you think they haven't asked me to do a deal yet? That's a With good question. YouTube or Twitch? Both. You Don't know? be too hungry. Why no, are you no. doing that face? No, say one. Say one. Don't oh. be too hungry. I okay. feel like you Twitch. are taking him seriously right now. I'm trying to get a daily motion contract, dude. Exclusivity on daily motion. I don't know if you guys, uh, if you watch like esports back in the day, specifically Dota. So Dota, Dota had this problem where it didn't really know where to be streamed. So if you wanted to watch a really big Dota game, this is like in 2013, 2012, you'd have to like it was daily motion. Sometimes was the only place you watch it. Uh, owned own 3D TV. Uh. Owned TV, which is a tragic story that Twitch did some wild shit research about that and then there was like joindota.com like it was crazy there mm -hmm. was no centralized like place and now it's twitch but now it's changing and that's weird guys that's weird yeah i think i don't know i, I don't know on facebook if if everyone like if the big streamers get signed to youtube like if 15 of them leave or something and then this is what i'm concerned about they drop prime youtube prime no no no, no. like twitch drops they, having prime they, oh dude, yeah i think they they crash a train in their ecosystem. Do you think they want to give up on it, though? I think it's more like, damn, are we losing $100 million a year on this? We could probably cut no, this program. they're just giving back 250 No, wait, five. They're giving back 250 every time. Yeah, for every single Prime. Yeah, but they already got the money from the Prime. They're net positive. No, they got the Amazon money from Prime. the Amazon yeah. Prime, but I wouldn't say that <laughs> Twitch is... There's no human on Earth who's like, oh... Amazon Prime? Well, I guess if I want Twitch Prime, I should buy this product. That doesn't... It's more like I, I, 130 million people have Amazon Prime. They're like, oh, free $5. I guess it serves as a marketing uh, effort to keep them on their platform, and I don't think that hurts them if it costs them two fifty per head. I think Amazon they, Prime it doesn't even really cost them, have. right? Because that's, it's only a cost assuming every Prime would be replaced by a Tier 1 sub, which is not the case. Um, No, I'm just saying in the sense that they're... 
every time they give away the two fifty. Oh, but they still paying the two fifty. Are paying the two fifty? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like it's it's like about a hundred million totally a year wrong. or something. My statement, the whole statement I made, it was completely. I think they'll. I was, I was actually smoking weed while you guys were being nerds. What were we talking yes, about, dude? I think they're gonna get Fuck rid of yeah. Twitch we're Prime. About Twitch is fine. And then that's right now. if they do that, that'd be their death. You know what? My big problem with YouTube is you can't find shit. You can't find the live streams. The UI is shit for streaming. They that's why I hate it. Copy it. Take the lawsuit. No, I think there's like, an inside hound. Like Every they say in the movie, it's a speed bump. I, I don't know if I'm a fucking idiot. Does anybody no. else have that problem where you they go on you. YouTube and it's you're like, oh, hey, I want to find a YouTube live stream and you just can't find it? No, I mean, I just yeah. type in low tier God and he's streaming and I'm good to go. <laughs> they specifically make it worse so I don't think it, so it doesn't like overtake their VOD platform. That's my conspiracy theory. Sure. Because their VOD platform makes so much, they don't want the live streams to be I too do, big. Yeah, I wonder if it fucks with the bread. Yeah, they don't want to fuck with the bread. I would love to be a fly on the wall. At a YouTube meeting? I want Bezos in general. You wanna, and John YouTube in the fucking room. I just want to be a fly I so want to see you and Susan <laughs> sit down, bro. Me and Susan. <laughs> I'm not saying shit about Susan right now. Don't say <laughs> shit about <laughs> Susan. Shit about Susan right now. Do not say anything about mm -hmm. Susan. Mm -hmm. Your no, track record with women of her age is not good on this podcast. <laughs> Look, yeah, so what are you going to do, man? So here's here's my question. Would you ever consider transitioning into a different type of content on your YouTube channel? Dude, what do you mean by that? So, for instance, we just opened up a video where two people were eating food after their child was nearly taken <laughs> from them by the government. I become a mukbang YouTuber? I, yeah, you could do whatever you My want. My main goal is for this podcast to blow up, so all I got to do is work once a week. And then I plan on moving to Nippon Desk. <laughs> 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 you, you will never do that. Ludwig and Working fucking once a week. Lud Ludwig in Japan is going to be a fucking problem. I actually don't because think it actually just there. enables him to do all the shit he does here in a place. Like he can just sit there with chopsticks, like eating something and looking at his phone. But like everyone else is doing it too. Yeah, dude. Wow, I never thought about that way. We are going to have our own yard Logan Paul scandal. That's what's going no, to happen. No, that is not going to... You are implying... Wait, well, you're gonna, the yes. yard goes to the suicide the forest? suicide forest. <laughs> you're going to... Oh, no. You're going to fill no, a dead not. body, no. and, then, and then you're going to put fish but, on But tabs. how crazy would it be if we went and we're like, someone did this? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh. Guys, by the way, it gets kind of cold. Here's these hats. <laughs> Dude, did you guys ever see... Dude, and he was wearing the... We oh. actually do the same thing. <laughs> You guys ever see the video? Because it was like there was the wave of shit for Logan Paul after naturally after showing a dead body in a YouTube video, and then it, he got like a second wave because people started watching the other videos he did in Japan where he just like harasses people yeah. in the street, just, like fucking with people who are yeah. foreign. Yeah, he's him. like throwing, yeah. dude. He was like throwing pokeballs at people on the street, yeah. and it, they like hitting them. Yeah, he was like it was like he was playing Splatoon, but like his gun was just racism. Yeah, he was running he was around trying everything. to cover as much of Japan as he fucking possibly could. It's crazy too because he does not blend in, being six fucking four, like yeah. huge with the with the. Dumb it's like hat how an anime around. portrays a dumbass American. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like dude, a it's gun. Like a, he's holding a plastic you know the, uh, flag. He's like the big blonde guy in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. 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 The Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> American, they have him wearing a, a an America USA bandana flag on over his head. Really? He has like, sunglasses. Like fucking uh, Uncle Rico. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly like Uncle Rico. It it's like Yu -Oh Uncle Rico guy. if you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question about Japan for you, Ludwig. Uh -huh. How much, like, let's say you could go to Japan but all the food you ever ate had to come from America, and it was easy, and it just like appeared in front of you. But you could not eat Japanese food. Would you still go? Yeah, uh, like, what's the alternative? I just can't. Like, basically, yeah. you are unable to eat any Japanese food. Yeah, I would, I would be a bummer. I would want to go again, but I would go. Really? Yeah. Dude, Ludwig, Ludwig in a in a super potato would be a fucking problem. Oh my it's god, you just potato. buy it's everything. A, so it's bro. a shop. It's a shop in Japan. There's like a few of them. I, I've been. I went to like maybe three or four when I was there, but they're like spread out far apart. And they just sell like retro gaming things, oh, uh, yeah, they're but super like, sick. but like I have found like some really hard shit to find uh, oh, at sick. those shit, like stores, like the like the Hudson Shooting Watch I have, I found it there. Um, and they have like, like a bunch of cool shit. Yeah, they have like yeah. the Panasonic GameCube. They have like 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 shit like that. You would just go in and just <laughs> buy shit, and yeah. it's it's actually it's it's shit gets more expensive because like more Americans go and buy stuff. But when I was there, like I bought uh, the Panasonic GameCube controller for like fifty bucks. 
Wow. That's actually insane. Dude, Wait, I, you, it, right now, it's like fucking like over $100. I think yeah. I've seen like a streamer, I like a retro Gaijin. He was in one of those stores, and I just donated like 150 and I was like, get me the Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> You're just online shopping? Yeah, and he sent it to me. I have it. Wow. It's a Pikachu Nintendo 64. That's where that oh, came from. Oh, yeah. that's wow. how you got it. I just that. got it from him. That rules. Uh, but I do think I would have a problem because I went to um, the mall on the other day with, on a date with Cutie. Got a, a massage, which was terrible, by the way. Why? Because they do facials. Do you know what facial implies? I feel like well, it's illegal to do. Yeah, I, yeah I, they wouldn't let you do that. In a they, did, they did that to this you? This bald guy came in. He's like 6'2". He kind of oh, looks like I, This is the worst kind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of guy? Of, of facial. Uh, <laughs> they, they, were, they extract all of your blackheads with this metal device that they just scrape Wait, on your that skin. That sounds great. No, it was so painful. That sounds awful. My face was beat right after. I was literally writhing in pain. Wait. And she's like, Haha, yeah. When that, did this happen? This happened like a few days Let ago. Let me see your blackheads. Show them your blackheads. Are they, are they, were they on your nose? I had, yeah, she went dummy hard on my nose. And she did still, not let up. I felt like shit. Blackheads. While yeah. she's doing this, by the way, she goes, <laughs> It okay, didn't work. Well, no, they come it back. It didn't work, dude. All right, my nose is like caverns, bro. They you hide just, in like, there. You just like rub soil on your face every fucking That's night? That's fucked up that they come back. Then it's yeah. like, then you have to do that shit all the time. That's this how is, I this feel is my face after it happened. You, you look like you're on a fight. I know. I'm like sweaty and in pain and in red. And oh, hold it up. Hold it up to the the mobile cam. No way that works. No, yeah, that works. 100%. That works. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You look like uh, you got tossed out of Wait, a bar. Wait, I actually also took this picture of the cringiest person on the internet the other day. I can't see it. <laughs> it's a picture of Aiden. Nice. Yeah, nice. Very well done. Today, like an hour ago, I took a picture of Aiden. I went say, want to take a look at this cringy guy I saw earlier? He goes, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. What a bit. Uh, it's a good one. That's yeah. a day one. Oh, no. <laughs> Amen. And then I hit him with the same one 20 minutes after that, but slightly different wording. Yeah. Yeah. Amen is very easy to, like, when he's doing something and you get his attention, yeah. he forgets all conversations you ever had before. You could probably do it, like, three times in a row. <laughs> Aiden's got a come home with a gun one day <laughs> we gotta he's relax he's the guy that we have to befriend otherwise he says don't come to the yard tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like oh damn bro yeah, I knew you were young load I that bitch up <laughs> I mean yeah I guess you already did get the yopper <laughs> on the on the bonus Patreon episode and I, I think do, I was I more again. impressed by the turnaround of that joke because I was sitting I sat down for like a couple seconds he took the photo and then did the bit Oh, oh my fuck. god! Dude, I thought you were pointing oh at my, my shirt. God, dude. You got destroyed. Oh, you got diced up. <laughs> Come on, live. You got hit with the day one. Uh, so after the date, I went to a capsule machine, which I know there nice. are a bunch in Japan. Yeah, dude, dude, I, dude, this is like high school. It's like you hit a fucking nerd with the day one. Like anyway, so on this date, so I was, I was fucking this girl. at the mall. So Sasha, <laughs> yeah. she's giving me a blow. <laughs> Uh, and he's pulling his phone. He's writing his manifesto okay. right now. He's adding to his list. <laughs> he's, <laughs> uh, he's playing down by Blink-182. <laughs> he's putting in his AirPods. Uh, yeah, I'm addicted to capsule machines because I just I was kept rolling for he, Kirby. Yeah, he got me a bunch of Kirbys. Are you I, fucking serious? Yeah, I put like 20 bucks in and I put all my didgeridoos to try to get Kirby. Yeah, I got I one to Kirby. Get Kirby. I got a Sleepy uh, DDD. I got the whole Where cast. was my capsule, bro? I did get you a small present okay. that I have not given to you yet. You're waiting for the right moment. Your birthday. You weren't. A, yeah, you're next year. I have been. I have been absent. <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. been. You've been away. You've I haven't played. A, I haven't played a video game in so long. Yeah. Do you feel like a part of you is gone forever? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm four for four. Yeah. Do you feel like you're not whole anymore? Well, I said for a very long time, I was like, it sucks being a gamer because you have to do this weird, <laughs> you have to do this weird thing in you're your so life impressed. where you're like, where you jerk your own penis to make it. <laughs> yeah. Where, you, where it's like you're jelking, but also like trying to aim. Uh, and then like 50% of humans are just weird and hard to talk to. <laughs> yeah. and big boobs. And I don't know what And I love them, them so much, but I hate them so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah it's hard to be a gamer because it's like all right 30 percent of your life is like you're asleep right and then like 30 percent is like fucking like work and then the other it's like you somehow have to divide between the amount of games you want to play to feel satisfied in a gaming session like if i sit down for 20 minutes to play a game it's like i, I can't do that i can't play yeah. valorant for 20 minutes like it's a commitment of some sort uh but then you have to like also you have like relationships and you know, all these other things you want to like goals in your life to accomplish uh, it sucks, and I was like, yeah, I just don't know how to like be a gamer and exist and also get sleep, because sleep is usually what gets sacrificed in that equation. I just stopped playing games because I got too busy, and now I'm like, damn, I just haven't played a video game, and I'm still like alive. 
Yeah, what does that mean? Everything's okay. It means you're you're <laughs> just you getting die. a little bit older now, oh, and that blows. some things are are not priorities. Everything's anymore, turning gray, and you realize that, and it's sad. But uh, you you know the emptiness will one day engulf you. So that's yeah, <laughs> and swallow me whole. Well, what I I, I want, dude, I want... you're becoming Amon. I'm already me, and you're becoming Amon, and he's come, becoming me. I'm yeah. not. I, you're getting bald. I'm not the same. Him. You're you are whole, balding, you're not and him. I can see it happening to you. <laughs> I, I'm chilling. <laughs> and you don't look at me. <laughs> I'm good. You're like a, a zoo animal. <laughs> I'm vibing. You're just a turtle. <laughs> you know what it is, by the way. All you have to do is just become a streamer. And then you could just game on stream. Dude, I, I have so many times gone, you know what? I'm going to start streaming. And then I open OBS, I see myself in the cam, and I I hover start stream, and I go, nah, yeah. I just don't. I think that's what Clint does. <laughs> I Dude, I, I think about it. I try to stream more, and I'm like, this is a really good idea. I'm going to do this today. And then I'll sit down and be like, no, It gives I, me I'm so much ready. anxiety. Really? But if you know yeah. what, I, how I get over it? You just click the button. I can't. I could. I could, but. Also, I have an interesting. Just call me in to click the button for I you. I don't think that solves okay. it. Because you sit down, you do it. Oh, what was that? What, what did you throw the, at him? What was that? The napkin ball. What the fuck? Oh, you wow. tightened that for a while. Jesus yeah. Christ. I threw it really high so it wouldn't hit him. Yeah. I, it was, it's just I, I didn't know, know what you were throwing. <laughs> I only saw gray. Let you know I could. So <laughs> I thought it was like star. a screw or something <laughs> heavier. A nut and a bolt. I threw it high. What oh, did you want to go say? On, Dude, I, I, no, I, I, cause like you sit down and you like do it for an hour and it's like, man, this sucks. Streaming? You, yeah, no, I'm fine once I get going. I, I think that's a you thing. You, I have one of the hardest jobs in the world. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. No, no, no. Oh. He's yes. right. Oh. As a fellow content creator. Uh. Yes. I am healing no, the fucking world. No, don't move the chair. Over on my side. Sorry. No. You clowns figured out that I have to hustle to pay our bills. That's so close <laughs> to my cock. A little lower. Yeah, you and the Marines, dude. <laughs> fucking all our, our heroes. Yeah. Semper frag, bro. You disgust me. Uh, I was gonna. So I was talking to. So Ultimate Summit was this weekend, and I think it was really cool. It's actually. I don't really love that game, but it was fun to watch. And it was hype, really dude. Yeah. It was such an amazing pool of players. Like they got so many aggressive players to show up at one event. Dude, that game is so good when they just when all the people in the tournament don't play the annoying characters. Well, would you argue the same about melee? No. no. So Samus Puff Summit Grand Finals, you'd be hype about? I would. Okay. Genuinely. Well, you're a freak. So there. I get once again. Thank you, Amen. Can you we, weren't hype. We, you we weren't hype when Duck. Applause you here? weren't hype when Duck three out H box. No, I wasn't. Interesting. No, it's not I was, interesting. I was thinking about those beans, dude. I, I could have been <laughs> less involved. If, I would say if it's Plup, Samus, and H box, I'd be torqued. Yeah. Yeah, but it I, wasn't. I guess I just like Plup yeah. a lot, and that's that's what I guess. Anyway, that's the key. By the way, oh, really quick, just a quick note I want to add. So, uh, Tweak. Uh, who won the event maybe is a listener of the yard. Shout out to Tweak. Uh, so shout out to, to B. Hear. Both of them watch the show. So uh, also Quinn uh, watches the show. Yeah, so Dota player. so we realized that the yard is actually just the breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah. If you want, if you want to be the best in NA at a video game, you just gotta watch. His morning ritual is like bowl of two cereal. Two of the, to the hundreds yard. of thousands of schmucks sitting at home happen to be the best at their video game. <laughs> yeah, it's super sick. Tweak, uh, Tweak watches. So I think that's really fun. A, apropos of that, so I was talking after the event with um with Bam and TK and Coney, and we're all just kind of like talking about they were actually doing like brawl old head like reminiscing. And do you guys know uh, K9? Yeah, yeah. So most of us know him if you've like watched Smash content for a long time as the guy who like rages a lot. Yeah, salty that's Smash guy. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. He's in a he's in salty moments, mm -hmm. and uh you know he like throws control. He runs out of the room. He screams. He gets really emotional. And they were telling me he's like. Uh, Bam, Bam, and then we're saying he's like actually a really nice guy, and yeah. he just gets really emotional, and it's like it sucks that this is the thing he's known for. Apparently, though, now he just grinds Valorant. He's like really sick. That's awesome. Yeah, and he it blew my mind. He's probably the most toxic teammate ever. I don't. Is he though? The Valorant is infuriating. Oh, no, but because you don't work together in melee or in Smash. Because he was. Like, I a guess it's, it's possible you know I mean? that he's able to get angry. Cause I can't a imagine a little bit of rage doesn't come out of him. <laughs> and I respect him for that. I'm just saying it's sick. That he's like quietly in some like dark like Twitch cavern, just streaming and playing Valorant all the time, and he's like cracked at it, and it yeah. leads me. Is he to cracked? A, yeah, I heard, they told me he's cracked. Oh, so okay. that's sick. He's like really good. So my question, Ludwig would be very tuned to this. Who has a reputation that is completely different from like the person that they are? Uh, XQC in person, really, is way different. Wait, what? I thought the exact opposite when I met him. Really? Yeah, when we met him in Texas, he just sat down at the Mario Kart setup and played video games. And, but, and the way he was talking was like exactly like on stream. He gets blue shell. He's do, 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 I, I think it was he's like that. Yeah, just much more. I haven't I haven't had a quality conversation with him though. So like mm -hmm. I don't know shit. I don't know. Like off stream, 
he is like Mr. Krabs. And on stream, he's like Mr. Krabs does ketamine, Mr. Krabs. And he's like way more fucking hyper. And he's still Mr. Krabs, but he's like on Ket and he's like way has too. Any, has Ket? anyone been following this analogy? Ket it's brings you down, game. by the way. You don't know this video no, game? No, Ket, Ket brings you down. Oh, it's a game? You yeah, Mr. Krabs does Ket. Oh, I don't I oh. know about this. It's a video game and then he goes super fast and he's crazy. Wait, Why would like they the, make him go fast? I don't know. It's just how the game it's works. It's called the K-hole. Every time he takes Ket, he goes really fast around <laughs> the map. Shout out to Tricky Mac. That, uh, that's insane. Ketamine King. Uh, but either way, he, he's like he's like way more chill. Because like online, he's hyper at all times and like constantly on and always like action packed and has no lull between content pieces. And then a person, he's like, yeah, dude, yeah, man. There's like a normal human, right? Yeah. I mean, are there people that you've met that are like that all the time? Because that would be kind of like Miskiff. Yeah, right? Miskiff. I think really? Miskiff is exhausted in his own skin. <laughs> <laughs> Miskiff must be like, damn, I, I don't stop. <laughs> so you've never seen him turn off? The only time he turns off is when he pulls out his phone to refresh new on LSF. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> and that's and then he's like oh. just kind of looking through that shit. But then I'll be like, he'll go back to like whatever. Like, I remember we were sitting in a group. It was me, Hassan and Miskiff. And we were like talking a bit. And then that's and then a great a anamorph. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the downward one <laughs> there was a lull in the conversation and then Mizkif just kept filling it and then I was like I was just like kind of like it was early so I just didn't talk and then Hassan also didn't talk and Mizkif just didn't stop talking but it was it was it was nothing it was like yeah, I don't know. Everyone, everyone has a nice house as a streamer. Man, I, I, I got to buy a house. You guys are so fucking rich. You guys have so many more subs than me. Yeah, you guys buy a lot of houses. What do you guys think about... Do you, guys, you guys are so fucking sick. You guys hate me. It's like it wouldn't what? stop. It was like it was like until we would respond, he would like keep going. And we were like... <laughs> I think a sod finally broke. And he's like, man, you don't shut the fuck up, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Miskiff has... Oh, Miskiff. Miskiff has never once uh, said my name to me when we're talking. Oh, yeah. He just calls you Ludwig. He calls me Ludwig. Uh, yeah, yeah, because he thinks it's funny. Yeah, do you, do you like that? I, I, I feel bad for Nick, but it, <laughs> I, Miskip... I have met him so many times, and he just says, "Hey, Ludwig," and I'm like, "Is this a bit that I'm supposed to enjoy too?" I wonder how far <laughs> the <laughs> excuse of, oh, it's that's just Miskiff can go, because it goes a long way. I think he just doesn't know my name and yeah. and refuses to learn it. But anytime he does anything like that, you can be like, "Oh, that's just Miskiff." But yes, there is a line where that has to stop. I remember yeah, the what, line is my Twitch viewer number. That's the fucking <laughs> line. Is that that's a good point? Does he still call you? Oh, hundred percent. No, Zero it's funnier. Shot. It's funnier. I think he, for sure. Yeah. If you're a twenty k Andy, he still calls you Ludwig. No shot. Because of the context. He called of you. Pokey a bitch live. That is not the same. <laughs> that's at, like, even a little bit. No, you know what? I'm following you. Go ahead. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, you have him on your side. That's it. He just your called. Point's looking I'm strong. just saying it, that is less hurtful. I think. To call you Ludwig, maybe it's the same. It's, I was like, I was like, all right, I'm on board. And break it down, scientist. And he's like, that's it. That's, there's <laughs> nothing else. He just called Pokey a bitch live. I think that's about as bad as calling. What was the context? Else. Um, it was like she called him Matthew, and I think or something. And they were talking about <laughs> nicknames, and then he basically said like, "What's your nickname?" And then he went, "Bitch," <laughs> something like that. <laughs> it was like that was the whole context. I've been, I have been like weird. I think I've said this before, but I've been like weirdly impressed with how much I've liked all the streamers that I've met that I expected to meet and, and like think they were the worst people ever. Why would you assume that? Uh, because I've seen streamer brain take over people. And I feel like so often they just lose their humanity and <laughs> are refresh bots of social media. Yeah. Uh, but I just. I don't know. I think there's a lot of like like people that like uh, it's like hard to believe. Like I don't want to name names, get fucking armies on us, but you know, like here, uh, it's not Lily Peach's real. Scott boy. Scott is editing this. Just just blur this out. Uh, like you know, I don't ever want to fucking meet that guy. I'm sure he's the worst. Um, but <laughs> but uh, pretty much everyone I've met, I've like liked a lot. Yeah. Or at yeah. least been like, wow, they're a pretty cool in person, even though I probably would never hang out with them. It's been a pretty good record with everybody. Yeah. There was that fun time because we were all before we had met a lot of these people there was that question of whether or not they were going to be weird and when the Botez sisters came over you oh my you god came downstairs have we told this story i can't remember yeah, i was I trying so. to i was actually trying to remember yeah we no we haven't before. okay no so so the Botez the Botez sisters come over to our house <laughs> and this is like this is like five four months ago something like that and this is probably the first time that like some other big Twitch streamers are visiting, visiting our house, I think. And uh, they they come over. They're hanging out with Cutie. They're doing a, like a cake stream with Cutie. 
Um, you know, that part's going well, it seems like. And then they go down to the living room to, like, go hang out. And me and Nick, we go downstairs to, like, hang out with the guests for the evening, Dude, right? I had to drag myself out yeah. of my room to hang out. Which I was proud of you for doing. Yeah. If you guys don't know this, I, like, vis- like playing group activities, guests, uh, like, too many yeah, people PGAs, in a room. Yeah, PGAs, we call them. I am just so <laughs> – it, it's, like, uh, exhausting for me. And I, and I typically do fine when I'm there, but it's, like, ugh. So I, like – Dude, I was, like, walking downstairs like a little kid. Dude, you're like a Dota hero. Like, you have all these weird attributes and things where it's like, yeah, he'll do this, but only if it's like this. So, like, all right, he'll hang out with friends, but not if they think about it beforehand and plan it. And, like, he'll watch a movie, but, like, you have to know what movie. And If I get a whiff that it's been planned, I leave. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It makes no sense to me. It's like trying to approach, like, a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Just- Anytime you make any sudden movements, he just runs away. I'm ext- I'm, I'll be kind of discovering this myself. I'm extremely introverted. And I just, I, I, I'm, I brighten up when I'm in a comfortable space, but it's still a lot for me. So anyway, I come downstairs. Yeah, yeah. And we had been down there for, with them for a while, so right? So me and Aiden, the Chad extroverts, are hanging out downstairs. <laughs> sure. Just shooting the shit. And we're getting along. With, like, everybody's getting along. It's, uh, we're just talking for, like, 30 minutes. Uh, they seem, like, very cool, very normal. And then you come downstairs. You walk down in... Uh, you know, in a typical, you know, in a typical slime outfit, you know, just like, you know, t-shirt. Why do we have to talk about what I'm wearing? No, because oh. I think it's just It the, does the, add. The context is important because it. Yeah, so slime comes down what wearing. What was I wearing? Comes you down know. wearing fingerless gloves, <laughs> uh, clown shoes. Yeah, and a, a big, guitar here, guitar big around big my back. <laughs> he looks like Thad Jarvis. Assless chaps. We moat in one hand. And I'm like, oh, do we have guests? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> and and uh, you say hi. And you sit down in in the corner, like like next to the TV on the floor of the room, and you're like, "So, uh, are you guys like shills?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like and like shill is not a word by any means that was invented in gaming or like is exclusive to our space or anything. But like, it's definitely a word that is used specifically in our group very frequently yeah. and contextually in this way <laughs> more so in our group than other groups and he just sits down and goes like so are you guys shills <laughs> and i've never seen two more confused human beings but so they're so funny. polite so she's like what do you mean yeah, yeah. and I, I i've never seen slime miss so hard yeah. in a social interaction I in my struggled. whole life yeah, i struggle i don't think i don't think I, i've I, ever seen wait, you how did you, what'd you do i just basically had to explain what i was saying he's yeah. like so a shill is someone who he, he's um, like trying to fight through the sentences so, of explaining by what he meant by shill and right? not and but not just can't. completely yeah. offend them by he's, coming yeah. down and being like are you guys fucking exactly bloodthirsty yeah. streaming addition, monsters in addition it's I, it's a word i've used for so long as a shorthand that i've forgotten how to define it and that happens to me a lot, actually. I'll just say something and assume people know what I'm talking about, and then yeah, and basically trying to trying to work it back and explain what I said without making them feel bad because I didn't necessarily mean it as like a bad thing, but they don't know that because it has a negative connotation. They're just being they introduced. They wouldn't know that like, anyway. That's your first sentence to them. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. It was yeah. hello, and then sitting oh, down. Oh, that's and, well. There you, you go. Are you guys? Alright, alright, alright. That was the, if that shows. same night. Alex introduced us to uh, poop music. Yeah. Apparently, there is a, a a type of music you can listen to. It's you look up on YouTube. It's like a, it's like poop music 2.0 music to listen to while you poop. And it's not the brown note. No, 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 no. Oh. But it's just music. It, it's like it had deep bass to it. And it's like really weird. It sounds like if you like like stepped on the crazy frog or something uh and, and it supposedly helps you shit um and she gave it great reviews so yeah. she was telling us all about that was it. our first conversation our with first that. conversation was with them just was, all yeah. about that's crazy pooping. how weird of a conversation you had as your first one and then you still came in with a weirder one i still <laughs> i still botched it yeah yeah they started with poop music and you were like because we could we that's could how i found over poop that's how i knew they weren't chills was yeah. because she was so openly comfortably having that conversation yeah, and i think that's really cool I, I i like the idea that people yeah, they were really cool people who are i guess you have this perception of them for instance like linus right or, or canine or whoever and then you meet them and they just show this like immediate humility uh and like i'm a person and i think that's really great and i think that happens more than we give credit for because we see people on screens more than we talk to them this Let is me- absolutely the first time that linus canine and the botez sisters has ever, ever been, been brought up in the same yeah 60 seconds. <laughs> you just had a unique sentence good job yeah Sick. first time uh- <laughs>
A hundred percent. I think most streamers, though, e even them, even me, are all chills, <laughs> sellouts, and like they mm -hmm. lose all their shame. The only streamer I have met who I was like, oh wait, you're like actually a normal adult, was Jerma was and Kit Boga, because I met them and they were like real adults. I remember specifically we did a rehearsal scene, and in the scene we were like standing around Jerma chanting like, "You're a poop boy." Did you poop yourself? It was supposed to be a nightmare sequence. Yeah. And we were rehearsing the block. This is like a always sunny bit. And it was really funny. And then after it, he was like, that was that was way, we went out of line there. That was crazy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, he still holds on. He still has dignity and like humility and like oh. self. Like, like he has this, which like I feel like all streamers immediately lose and make themselves clowns and go, ar, ar. it's just funny. Well, you, know, you know what's funny? The, the, the similarity between those two streamers particularly is that they both have extremely unique products yeah yeah like they're able to like remain human because their product is so unique they don't need to shill because they're like one of the few doing what they're doing yeah you by the way in the if you're a melee head and in the old days of like anther's ladder net play you were diced up or diced up somebody named germa 985 <laughs> on uh anther's net play that was aiden Wait, that was you, really? Yeah, I was, I was Germa985 on Melee Netplay for, like, almost two I was, years. Uh, <laughs> I had so many. I had Dirt Bike Rider 320. Dude, Dirt Bike uh, Rider is so <laughs> Fox, Fox Racing 34, the Sony Bong Water. I was Gutex. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> that one's aged beautifully. Hey, it's so funny. Hey, GG's, the vaccine's not real, and uh, just drink bleach. It'll literally help. <laughs> I, I have horse paste in my mouth. <laughs> I'm only losing because of the vaccine. Uh, yeah, I had Gutex. That's wow. actually funny that you had Germa. Uh, this is a true story. Do you guys know... Uh, wait, sorry, Nick, you'll help me out here. Who's former world best chess guy? Wait, best chess? 90s? Yeah, he lost to Big Blue. You might know. Kasparov? Andrea yeah, yeah, Batez. Yeah. Yeah. Kasparov, the most famous chess player yeah. to ever play the game. Yeah, maybe like the GOAT, unless you think Magnus is the GOAT, but top two either way. Go yet. Uh, but Kasparov's name on chess.com was It's Hafu, which is <laughs> Hafu's exact Twitch name. <laughs> And he's just dicing people up. That's dicing so people funny. up. Wait. Before Hafu played chess as It's Hafu, because Hafu... Who was a Hearthstone like yeah. you know celebrity at that point had a fan, uh, and that fan was a person who helped set up Kasparov's chess account. And he was oh, like, uh, that is you know, so name it whatever, funny. and then they so named it, it's Hafu. Wow, yeah. So, so he had no funny. idea. I don't think Kasparov had any fucking clue, but he was dicing people up, and they were like, dude, the the girl from Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a GM. I, I wonder how many chess players got turned on to Hearthstone just to see what it was about. Yeah. yeah. Just to make sure. Just to check. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hafu is like grinding Hearthstone ladder with Kasparov like, yeah. <laughs> as her tag. So and she, it's sponsored by McDonald's. Yeah. So when she joined Podjam, she had to pick a different name because <laughs> her name was so stolen funny. by Kasparov, <laughs> which is uh, probably the like coolest person to steal your name. Yeah. Absolutely. That's pretty that's pretty sick. What if in, Tom in Brady world? comes out in a Ludwig jersey? Uh it's not the would same you because you can see that it's him. Yeah. I think that's the oh, idea. Oh sure, yeah. You can't smurf Tom Brady. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no smurfing in real <laughs> sports because you're just the guy. What if you got surgery to look like some other dude? Like the masked singer, but it's with actual sports and yeah, they're all like it's with in permanent outfits. change to your body and they face. look like Tony the Tiger <laughs> you could do, you could do makeup and prosthetics. You could do a masked surgery. singer with like F one where you just like have the full F one like race, but you put twenty random people in the cars and they all <laughs> there's devastating crashes every weekend. <laughs> Cancelled after the pilot episode. Yeah. <laughs> Documentaries their, are made. Their cars only go max speed. <laughs> what about yeah, I think sports that you could conceal your face. Where you have to conceal your face is like prime time. Like fencing. Fencing, exactly. Yeah. Do you think you'd be good fencing? Oh, dude, it's only celebrities. They take off the mask. It's fucking Dream and Tom Brady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then, dude, Dream takes off the fencing mask and there's just another <laughs> mask <laughs> underneath. This <laughs> is not yet, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Not yet. Uh, dude, you know what I want to do sports wise? Not masked up, but I want to I, play dude, soccer I with do me. Chess boxing. Do you want to play soccer with Nick? No, I want to do chess boxing. I want to do chess boxing so, so bad. You know what? Can you, can, you, can you just find the rules of chess boxing? I okay, yeah, the, it exists. There's chess boxing tournaments. No, I know. I'm. Can, can you say the rules? Oh, can I say oh, right now? Yeah. I think I think generally the way it works is you'll do a round of boxing and a round of chess, and the round wait, of boxing, which one do you do first? Uh, I think it usually starts with chess. Okay, wait, thank Ludwig, God, Ludwig. We can do the thing. Do what thing? So when I worked at Beyond the Summit, it was my job to uh, make an event 
for a giant melee tournament that was ancillary to the event. And so we, I, I ended up doing the second roast of Bobby Scar. But I had asked Ludwig for any ideas, and he said melee boxing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's play, you play melee. It's just like ch- chess boxing, which is... Well, chess boxing, yeah, you play like one round of chess and then you'll do run one, run one round of boxing. And if you checkmate or knock them out, you win. And so That's awesome. it would be melee boxing. So it's instead of chess, it's melee. And we were thinking like, what would be sick matchups, right? I go to my boss, Ken Chen, hot bid, and he says, no, we can't do that. There's liability stuff. It's probably illegal. And I said, <laughs> pussy. And then I left the company. All right, all right. So let's, let's just say it's chess boxing. Uh-huh. It's, it's Floyd Mayweather versus Magnus Carlsen. And, <laughs> and they start with chess. Who wins? Does Magnus Carlson checkmate him in a minute, or dude, <laughs> or is Floyd knock him out dude, the first dude, minute in the ring? Mag- Floyd can't read. That's what has been. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Floyd, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather has been made fun of by Fifty Cent for not being able to read words. Oh no! Like terribly, like made. Yeah. It was more than made fun. He was of. bullied, bullied on the internet. Yeah, bullied. yeah he was bullied. That's hilarious. He bullied a, a world champion boxer. Who yeah. defeats people fair, with his hands. To be no, fair, when you have been shot that many times and lived, I think you're not afraid of some hands. It's yeah. Also, it's like it doesn't matter. <laughs> the it default does weapon. It does not matter how many millions of dollars you have if you can't read. That's not true. <laughs> and, That's not true. Bro, chill. He could come on. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to get Floyd. <laughs> so, Floyd, what do you think about what Eamon said uh, a couple episodes ago? We were ago? close to Floyd when we went to Vegas. He's like, he's sitting there like this with a Game Boy. <laughs> mm, I don't know. We went <laughs> to Fuck a, you, dude. We went to Vegas during the Floyd Logan fight, uh, and Floyd Mayweather was in the Gucci store right when I wanted to go there. Really? And it was packed all outside. We couldn't get in. I was trying to go to get an outfit because we had some like dinner planned, uh, and I didn't have a fancy outfit on. And I couldn't get into the store. I asked people like, "What's going on?" They're like, "Oh, Floyd Mayweather's here." I see an entourage of people walk out. They're like six six bodyguards. And you cannot see Floyd because he's short as fuck and he's in the center of this. So it's like literally impossible. So people are putting like their phones over the bodyguard's shoulders to get a glimpse of him. But he he shut down the Gucci store. Yeah, he, he thought it said Geico. He was looking yeah. for insurance. <laughs> he couldn't read it. Oh, shit, I got a new car. <laughs> Dude, he's like Charlie like at every side. <laughs> Do you remember the the 6 9 Instagram video? Where he's in an, like an airport, like uh, he, he's on an airplane like uh, runway, and he's there in a circle are standing like twenty bodyguards, uh, facing outward, and six nine is in the middle of them, just break dancing. Wait, oh, I do remember <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, absolute legendary video. And I'm like. That guy's fucking. That's crazy. I can't believe that. that's the sickest thing I've ever heard in yeah. my life. I'm, I'm, Why don't you do that? I'm looking at Zipper go through to find this. He's going through tabs. <laughs> it's be hard, He's going Zipper. through tabs. He goes through Animorphs. He goes through Mario standing in a T pose. He goes through <laughs> Logan Paul at the Suicide Forest. This show was a fucking mistake. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Zipper, how did you do this? Did that you make insane. this? Damn, dude. I, I bet there's a generator. There's no way I, that I, gave, was made. I gave Zipper the Adobe sweep back there, and he's fucking going to town. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, to uh, answer your question, by the way, uh, Floyd wins that for sure, I think. You think so? Because I, I think you can stall enough in chess that you can't win in one round. Well, like you're well how many minutes is, are the game? You can do speed chess, but I assume the round of chess is not as long as your entire game clock. It was your bullet. Yeah, I, if, I guess if you squirmed the rules that way where the one round of chess <laughs> uh, yeah, was enough. that short, then yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Who is the lowest tier of celebrity who still shuts down the Gucci store? Dude, we talked about this when it happened too. It it's like Zipper's <laughs> <laughs> having Paul. fun back there. He's a high tier celebrity. You gotta you gotta be pretty famous to such shut down a Gucci store. The lowest store tier in celebrity. Vegas. Who's so like there? There's a cutoff, right? There's some sort of line that defines the celebrities who don't shut down the Gucci store and the celebrities Lover who do. Lover doesn't shut down the Gucci no, store. Absolutely Dude, not. What? what streamer does? No, none, none of them. None of them. No so, streamer. Okay. So streamers are out. I don't think any YouTuber shuts down a Gucci store. Mr. No. Beast. Linus. No. no. I think Mr. Beast, if he called ahead, this was not like a planned shutdown. I think he just yeah, like you showed show up. show up and they shut it down. Linus. <laughs> <laughs> it's Linus. Linus Tech Tips, the Botez sisters. Look, and it's, it's, it's a bunch of people <laughs> trying to kill him. And K9. And K9 shuts down the yeah. K9 he enrages. I don't think like any shit. streamers or YouTubers are that big of celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> maybe no. maybe like Olivia Rodrigo. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. She's like normie famous. Yeah, I guess she just became normie famous, though, so. 
Yeah. She's fresh to the list. She's fresh to the list. That's yeah, the best. But, but she's still. Gonna Pierce Brosnan. Gonna shut down streets. Happy, healthy. Pierce Brosnan might get it done. Uh, He's a dead. Pierce Brosnan. Bad. No, bad. Pierce Brosnan bad. does not get it done. They go, sir. <laughs> sorry, the bathroom's this way. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was James Bond. He's Penn like, and Teller like, yeah. shut down the Gucci store. <laughs> <laughs> With facts and logic. With facts and logic. God isn't real. <laughs> Buy and Gucci. neither are, this, are these snakeskin boots. <laughs> ben Shapiro shuts down the okay. <laughs> So imagine that I'm having sex with these boots, okay? That was a good Ben. My Ben's Shabibu. fine. I've been, Ben's, I've done Ben's pretty all right, Ben Shabibu. Shabibu. I could have done a funnier line. Yeah. Hey, but you know what is even funnier? The content that is about to be on the uh, bonus episode, which is coming up soon. Yeah, that is true for, for Ludwig, big Ludwig, are you going to do your fucking bonus episode? My and I said I would do it monthly. Ludwig, well, we talked about biweekly potentially. Kappa, Kappa. All right, well, monthly. But last last episode in the, in the I think it was in the bonus you said this, or maybe it was in the regular episode. Uh, you were like, yeah, I'm gonna I could do a show with like anime. And then in the kitchen the other day, I'm like, hey, Ludwig, you gonna do your show? And he goes, no shot, dude. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Ludwig, why would you say something publicly if you don't want to do it? Oh, why are you dancing now? I just said it on the private app. Okay, what happens on the private app stays on the private. We're app. on the public app now. Ludwig wants to do a show about anime. Oh, what next? You want to show him Izzy gets host? Keep the camera. No, 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 <laughs> Izzy. No, it's okay. It's, All right. it's okay. They need to see this. That's... <laughs> I'll show them exactly what happened to Izzy, and then I'll give them the anime. Don't review. show them Izzy. OG Ludbone. All right. Well, if you are not uh, going to be seeing us in the bonus episode that is on Patreon, then we will see you next week. And if you are, stay tuned or swap over to that feed. Because we are ending this hot one with uh, Ludwig's hot one. He's actually going to show his penis. Stop give us a, give us a tummy. Give stomach. us a tummy. Stop rubbing your tummy. And <laughs> there's children that watch this, guys. Come on, I can't show. <laughs> All you right. Well, dog. thanks for thanks for Save listening. Save it for the bonus. Episode. Thanks for listening or watching, depending on what day. And if you want to keep listening, we'll see you in the bonus episode. See you later.